It was supposed to rain today on Halloween, but that's not going to happen. It is glorious blue skies overhead. Big football game. Seattle's 4-2. and two. The Raiders are 3-4. and four. Hope you enjoy it. Murray will kick it from south to north. Jacoby Ford back, but a slide to his left a bit inside the numbers, and he fakes an end around, keeps the ball forward. He's hit by Obamanu and dropped on the 23-yard line. A flag comes down on the first play of the game, an illegal block on the Raiders, Tom, as they fake yep. the end around. Ford kept it, and somebody blocked in the back, apparently. Yeah, it's a holding call. Not a good way to start. Turn, illegal block in the back by the receiving team number 31. Half the distance to the goal. Oakland keeps the ball. First down. Yeah, not a good way to start the game uh, when you had a decent return. You know, out, out, any, anything outside the 20 is a relatively decent return, but now inst- instead you're starting on the 10-yard line. Would have been on the 23-yard line. Now it's going to be on the 10. That was Hiram Eugene, the illegal block in the back. One profound problem with the exception of a couple of weekends has been penalties. Raiders with their 66th of the year lead the NFL. So they are moving from our left to right, from north to south. Offset eye behind Jason Campbell, making his third straight start. They fake it to McFadden. Campbell rolls in the end zone, avoids a sack and a roll and throw, and now just run for his life. He got hit out of bounds by Colin Cole, and no flag. But Hockley right there looked like Jason hit the white apron, was out of bounds, and then Cole hit him. But a dangerous way to open the game time. They fake the uh, counter coming left, roll the quarterback right, and he was hassled back in his black end zone. Yeah, trying to make a big play on the first play uh, from scrimmage, and uh, and instead of that, they almost got caught for his safety in the end zone. But that, that hit was uh, marginal on the sideline. I think he hit him out of bounds, but they did not get the flag. A one-yard loss, so it is technically a sack to open the game. McFadden alone back, second down of 11 Raiders on their nine-yard line. Campbell, straight drop, looks left, throw, short, caught by Zach Miller, tackled immediately by Lawyer Malloy, and then dropped down the 17-yard line. They're going to try to isolate Lawyer Malloy as much as possible in coverage. They blitz him a lot, but he's not a great cover guy. Let's take a look at today's starting lineup, brought to you by Wrangler five-star James. Jared Valdeer will make his second straight start at left tackle for Mario Henderson. Robert Gallery at left guard. Samson Satelli concussed last week in Denver's back at center with Cooper Carlisle at right guard and Langston Walker at right tackle. The Wrangler five-star lineup. Wrangler five-star premium denim jeans. Real comfortable jeans. Third down and three. Raiders. Miller goes in short motion. Stays right. They roll Campbell right. He throws behind Miller who dropped the ball. He had it right at the sticks for a first down, but the ball was thrown behind him. Uh, poor throw, but Zach should have caught that one. The Raiders will punt the football. Yeah, Zach usually catches those uh, balls like that. Uh, it was thrown behind him. It was a tough ca- catch, but uh, he had to turn and, and catch it while he was moving to his to his right. And uh, catchable, but but tough. Shane Leckler will punt to Golden Tate. The Seattle Seahawks have been outstanding on special teams. They have Leon Washington returning their kickoffs and Golden Tate. Almost 12 yards, a punt return, sixth best in the NFL. Leckler booms one. Golden Tate, the Notre Dame rookie, will start on the 24, straight ahead 30. Runs into his uh, own guy, then almost through an ankle tackle, but he is tackled there. As uh, Tyvon Branch, or Brandon Myers got down to make the tackle, 83. Brandon Myers, nine-yard punt return by Golden Tate. After a 59-yard punt by Shane Leckler. So the Seahawks will start on their own 33-yard line. They are 4-2, and two, but they have lost uh, twice on the road. Their most recent road game, they won in Chicago. They have not been a great road team. Looks like Matt Hasselbeck, the veteran quarterback, wants to go right up on the line quickly. Deion Butler goes in long motion, short drop, looks left or right. Now comes left, and he's sacked. Never threw it, and he's sacked by Tommy Kelly, who came right through. Their offensive line, which is the weakness in their entire team. Yeah, they've had some injuries on their offensive line. They're, they're playing without their number one draft choice, uh, Okung. And, uh, you know, they're just, they, they just haven't had that same offensive line in, in uh, a couple of years. Russell Okung will miss with an ankle injury. Tyler Columbus at left tackle. Ben Hamilton left guard. The center is Chris Spencer. Stacey Andrews right guard. Sean Locklear right tackle. There's a handoff to Marshawn Lynch off the left side. The Raiders swarm that led by Tyvon Branch. Seattle's trying to up the tempo. They will jump into a no-huddle periodically, but that time they broke the huddle with 23 on the play clock. Not a full-blown no-huddle, but they will try to play quickly as they rush back into the huddle. They bring in Justin Forsett. They're off backfield right now is what Jeff Tedford had uh, back in the mid part of the 2000s. Marshawn Lynch, the lead back, with Justin Forsett coming in on third down. 
They're down in 14, Seattle. Big Mike Williams goes wide left. Namdi will pick him up with press coverage. A bunch formation right with John Carlson, Chris Baker, and Deion Butler. Two tight ends. Hasselback, head and sack. Back on the 21-yard line. Richard Seymour got in. So the front four with a great push, Tom. On first down, Tommy Kelly gets in for a sack. On third down, Richard Seymour sacks Matt Hasselbeck. And the push was right from the middle of the, of the defense. Uh, two tackles getting uh, back-to-back, not back-to-back, but getting two, two sacks on the very first series. And that was just a straight bull rush, power rush by Richard Seymour. He is so strong. Does not do it with quickness. Just brute force right up the middle. Here's John Ryan. Raiders almost get the punt. As they pressure up the middle, Ryan gets it away. A boomer. Nick Miller back. Will catch it 25-yard line. Started to go left and it goes middle. And he gets dropped on the 29-yard line. 53-yard punt by Ryan. Three-yard return by Nick Miller. Raiders go to the pistol formation. McFadden behind Campbell in a shortened shotgun. Marcel Reese to his left. Let's see if they pull option read this. No, it's a fumble. And the ball rolls back to Jason Campbell. The snap from Samson Satelli did not get there. It hits something. I don't know if it hit another player's leg or his own leg time, but that snap just did not get there. They went into the pistol formation where Campbell is closer to the center. He's about three yards back. Did that hit a pulling lineman? Where'd that ball go? I don't know. I can't, you know, it, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Second down and 15. Uh, Campbell under center. McFadden the lone back. Rough start. Raiders went three and out to open. Now Campbell a straight drop. Throws out left. Catch made. A juggling catch by Khalif Barnes, who was playing as a second tight end. He was a, a tight end in high school, and the Raiders get out, out to big number 69, who was announced eligible. So even with Brandon Myers up today, Tom, the Raiders will use Khalid Barnes, the utility offensive lineman, as a third tight end, and yeah. that's his first catch in the NFL. 325-pound. Throw it to him again in soft hands. <laughs> that is. Long-time Jacksonville Jaguar, Khalif Runs off the field. Third down and nine. Raiders got a gain of six on the pass to Khalif Barnes. They're pulling out all the tricks. Slot formation right. John Lee Higgins inside of Darius Hayward Bay. Jacoby Ford is wide left. Tremendous speed. Here's a blitz up the gut. Campbell hit. Runs. Now sacked. Or actually ran forward a bit, but he was tackled by Aaron Curry. That is something the Seahawks are doing relentlessly on third down, playing what they call a bandit defense time. As many as seven defensive backs. A lot of them are blitzing. And that came, that time they came with everybody. Aaron Curry, the former Wake Forest star, got in to knock Campbell to scramble forward for three yards. Yeah, the number one draft choice last year, and uh, they came right up to right up to shoot and uh, was was blocked, but blocked a little late, forced Campbell to scramble. Not sure they, they used the band at that time. It looked like they just came with a good four-man pressure, and also Aaron Curry who will play like a down lineman. Leckler's second punt of the day. Jordan Babineau was right there almost to block it. That is Ray Guy hang time here from Shane. Back on the 12-yard line. Golden Tate to the 20. And then he's dropped down on the 22-yard line. Booming blast by Leckler. 55-yarder again. But a 10-yard return by Golden Tate. was 21 to nothing. We're looking for our first first down of the game for either club. Raiders have gone three and out twice. Seattle now will start their second series after going three and out. The teams have run nine offensive plays total for four yards. From their 22, Hasselbeck hands off Marshawn Lynch off the right side. He lost yards. Raiders got a great push there from Rolando McLean, the middle linebacker. And Marshawn Lynch lost a couple of yards. Raiders defensively, front four, breathing fire to open the game. Sacks from both tackles. Seymour and Kelly to open. Lamar Houston, one end. Trevor Scott, the other. Quinton Groves back at weak side linebacker. Rolanda McLean, the middle backer. Cameron Wimbley at strong side linebacker. Stanford route and Namdi Asamoah the corners with Michael Huff and Tyvon Brains. Chris Johnson inactive today. Jeremy Ware will be the nickelback. Hand off to Lynch coming left. He is hit and dropped by Quinton Groves. Warriors, uh, Raiders, I should say, uh, playing like Warriors all over Marshawn Lynch uh, today, Tom, as they get off to a tremendous start against the pass and now against the run. Well, they're in attack mode. They're in, in an attack mode right now. They're penetrating into the backfield and blowing up the runs before they even get started. Uh, the uh, 
The Seahawks uh, are going backwards, have gone backwards in the last two plays. Back-to-back -back stops. Lynch lost two yards on first down. He loses four. They're going to bring in a third wide receiver now. Golden Tate, the Notre Dame rookie, joining Deion Butler and Ben Obamanu. John Carlson, a very good tight end, going to slide in motion left to right. Three receivers right. And Golden Tate left. Hasselback almost sacked. Throws short. Catch made by Tate. Breaks the tackle. A hump. And he's knocked it a bounce by Tyvon Branch shy of the first down. The Raiders will force a second three and out. Just dumped it to the crossing guy, Golden Take Tom. He was able to break one tackle by Huff with the other safety. Tyvon Branch rolled him out. Yeah, he didn't have Hasselback didn't have much time to to, uh, to wait for anybody else. He had to avoid one of the fast rushers just to get that playoff. John Ryan, formerly kicking in the Canadian Football League for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers by way of the Regina, Saskatchewan. Bill punt, very strong leg. His first punt traveled 53 yards. Great day to kick today. Very little wind. Here is Ryan from his 18-yard line. This one's going to spin, and certainly returnable. Nick Miller, 31-35, straight ahead. Breaks a tackle, 40. Stays upright. Uh, dropped by David Hawthorne, and around the 42-yard line. 41-yard punt by Ryan. 12-yard return by Nick Miller. First and 10 on their own 42-yard line. Their best drive start. They'll go into an offset eye. Marcel Reese, the fullback, ahead of Darren McFadden. A quiet start for McFadden. Slot left. Darius Sayward Bay now comes inside of Jacoby Ford. Toss play to McFadden, led by Valdir. And David Hawthorne able to string that out and make the tackle, dropping McFadden on the 45-yard line. A gain of three. That's a play the Raiders ran with great success last Sunday in Denver town. The toss sweep in particular going left behind Jared Valdir. Yes, they did. And they're lining up on a quick a huddle there. They're getting ready to go real quick. Raiders thought a huddle goes second and seven. Campbell a straight drop. Pressure throws a deep ball to the left sideline for Hayward Bay. And he overthrew him and he also threw outside over the uh, sideline. Incomplete. Good coverage there by Nate Ness. A second year corner from Arizona who was going to uh, start today. They have profound injuries in their defensive backfield. They are without Kelly Jennings out with a hamstring injury, Tom, and also without Walter Thurman. So today they're going to start Nate Ness, and the Raiders may pick on him a bit. He's opposite of Marcus Trufant, the Pro Bowl corner. Third down at seven. Raiders go three wide receivers right. Ford at Miller. Uh, Zach goes in motion. He'll stay right wing. John Lee Higgins outside there. Darius Hayward Bay is left. Campbell blitz by Roy Lewis. Uh, runs around, now throws middle, and it is caught for a first down by Jacoby Ford. Bidding the rookie safety, Earl Thomas, over the middle. That is Jacoby's third catch in two weeks in a first down Raiders. 13-yard pickup. Nicely done by yes. Jacoby Ford making his first NFL start. Yeah, making his first start. He came in last week uh, for Hayward Bay and, and when Hayward was ill. And uh, getting a lot more playing time now, and he's, uh, he's reacting to the playing time. Hayward Bay went out early last week. He was feeling ill. Lewis Murphy not playing today. He has a uh, contusion right around the lung area after colliding with his teammate Marcel Reese. End around to Hayward Bay. Gets a nice block there by Myers. 30, 25 of Seattle. Breaks a tackle, 15 drop on the Seahawks 12-yard line. The end around to Darius Hayward Bay goes for 31 yards. Great block by Brandon Myers, Tom. Yes. But tight end was able to get in the edge, and then some nice open field running by DHP. Yeah, nice downfield block by Jacoby Ford as well. And the Raiders using that similar play, but using it with a variety of different runners. That time it was Hayward Bay. They've used it even with Lewis Murphy in the past. Jacoby Ford is a well-built guy at 5'9", 185. We know him for his great combine speed, but... Uh, he is well built. First and ten Raiders on the Seattle 12. Nick Miller goes out wide right. Straight drop. Campbell looking right. Now going to roll right. Being chased. It'll run out of bounds. Escorted out there by Will Herring. It's uh, twice now he's broken the pocket. Rolled to his right. Nowhere to go. Junior Siavia, former chief and cowboy, chased him out of the pocket. And the Raiders now second down and nine on the Seattle 11-yard line. The Seahawks have been a terrific red zone defense all year, Tom. Third best in the NFL. Previously, teams have gotten in there 23 times for just eight touchdowns, a mere 35% inside their 20. Second and nine Raiders on the Seattle 11-yard Seattle line. Miller goes in motion to the left and left wing. They hand it to McFadden. Lead play straight up the middle. Runs into his own guy, Zach Miller. And he has tackled at about the 8-yard line. Chris Clements, the former Raider, starting on their defensive line. They're a big line. Clements plays left end. Red Bryant goes 325, the right end with Colin Cole. And Brandon Meebane 
is uh, down today, so Craig Taylor will play more in their defensive front. Antoine Balmer will actually start the former Niner. Linebackers Aaron Curry, Lofa Tatupo, and David Hawthorne. True Fon starts at one corner, Nate Ness the other. They have a veteran corner in Lawyer Malloy and a rookie in Earl Thomas. Third and six Raiders on the Seattle eight-yard line. Three receivers go right. Zach Miller flexed out left. And a throw ball knocked down by Colin Cole right in the interior line. So the Raiders stalled out inside the red zone. They'll bring in Jan uh, Janikowski. And he was going to Johnny Lee Higgins there in a slant time, and Colin yeah. Cole got his hands up and knocked it down. Yeah, they're doing, uh, they've are doing. they done a lot of that to our, our Raider quarterbacks this year, Campbell. Uh, you, you can see them doing that to Gretkowski because Gretkowski's not a very tall guy, but Campbell is 6'5", and shouldn't have problems with that. But when you have a short drop like that, those big six 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 seven defensive linemen, they just they can't get to you. They're going to stop and jump up in the air. 26-yard attempt by Janikowski. Right hash mark. John Kondo will snap. And a whistle. A flag came in before. False start on the Raiders. Janikowski made that from 26. Now he's going to have to try from 31. Five-yard penalty. Three, three, fourth down. Jared Valdir had a problem uh, staying still. He false started three times last Sunday in Denver in his first ever start. Janikowski, after the three misses in Arizona early in the year, has rebounded nicely. He's made seven in a row. What a game he had last week. Eight oh, yeah. touchbacks. That is the most the league has seen since the AFL-NFL merger of 1970. So a 31-yard attempt, right hash, Mark Congo, left for Sebas, swings the left leg, and the five extra yards are not going to matter to Sebastian Janikowski. He bangs it through. Raiders don't get in the end zone, though, when they got inside the red zone, settled for three, but they do score first. Raiders lead 3 nothing. Janikowski with his eight-touchback performance last Sunday now leads the NFL with 20 touchbacks. He'd like to get one here. Leon Washington is back to return this kick. Last year, as a Jet here on October the 25th, he suffered that horrific compound fracture, his tibia and his fibula, but he leads the NFL in kick returns. Janikowski, great respect, will bounce one to Leon Washington, 20-25, hit by Michael Huff and drop shy of the 30-yard line. Twice in one game, Leon Washington against San Diego took back kickoffs for touchdowns. They'll start on their 29-yard line, moving from south to north. Here is a play action by Hasselback, throws middle, no one there. I don't know if he thought Mike Williams was going to settle across more or not, but there was nobody there at all as the ball landed at around the 40-yard line. Nobody on that side of the field at all, Coach. No, nobody there. Mike Williams had run at the start of the little crossing route, but he was about uh, 10 yards away for, from where the ball went. And as he goes back in the huddle, Hasselbeck is talking to him, so he ran the wrong route. But did he settle into a zone where he thought he was going well, to Well, he must across? have, yeah. He must have because... Uh, uh, Hasselback didn't wait, though. He got rid of the ball real quick because of the pass rush. Second and ten. Hasselback is uh, audibleizing at the line. Play clock under ten. Counter handoff. Marshawn Lynch breaks one tackle. The flag comes down. They're going to gang tackle Lynch, but he powered forward to the 33-yard line. The umpire threw the flag. That's going to be a hold on Seattle. Chad Brown, not the former Seahawk or Steeler linebacker, but Chad Brown, the umpire, called that one. Here's Ed Hockley. Holding offense number 50. Ten-yard penalty. We see second down. Yeah. Held on the left guard, Tom. Ben yeah. Hamilton, the former Bronco. Yeah, that's going to put him back about, uh, yeah, second and 20 now. So that, that really, their uh, Seattle is not doing a very good job of moving forward. They're right now, that Raider defense is fired up, and they're penetrating, and they're, getting, they're making things happen. Well, even though they beat Arizona last Sunday, 22-10, to 10, they did not play real well on offense. They had five Olindo Monte field goals inside handoff to Lynch out of the shotgun, or pardon me, to Justin Forsett. Rumble. And he got Rumble. popped, did not fumble, but he got hit hard by Michael Huff. And Mike Mitchell, Mike Mitchell made the tackle. Mike playing a lot as that hybrid uh, in the box, linebacker slash safety. He was in along with Michael Huff. Well, these young Raiders safeties, Tom, Branch, Huff, and now Mike Mitchell are playing real well. Yeah, they're playing real well, and they're very aggressive, and, and they're able to play up in the linebacker location in, in what is so-called the box area and make things happen there. So uh, you know, one thing about the Raider defense is they can all run. Seattle's not come close to picking up a first down yet. Third and 19 on the 20. Hasselback out of the gun. Pressured. Throws it out quickly. And a catch made by Forsett. Breaks the tackle. 30. And he's tackled shy of the first down by Mike Mitchell again. Nice range there by Mitchell along with Jeremy Ware, who will play a lot today as a defensive back, the rookie round seven in the Michigan State. 
or set. When he gets an open field, you worry about him because he's so elusive, but the Raiders played that well on third down and 19, allowing them just 13 yards. Yeah, Rolando McLean coming off the field uh, a little upset with himself for not making the play for a loss, uh, uh, but uh, he's, he's making things happen, and he's getting close and getting better and better. Here's John Ryan in the punt here. He'll let it go on the 23-yard line. This is a blast. Nick Miller going to backpedal, and he's not going to call for a fair catch, and he should have. He got popped right away there. Nice tackle made by Ben Obamano, their lanky, long-legged wide receiver. Nick Miller, after a booming punt, 53 yards, no return at all, and the Raiders will start on the 13-yard line. You get the feeling that Nick Miller does not like the fair catch? I get that feeling. <laughs> Got that feeling last yeah, August, and uh, then he got hurt. And, yeah, didn't get a chance to play time. The Raiders no. kept him on the roster all year, despite the fact that uh, he was hurt, made a fractured shin. But they liked him so much. He's played well though as a punt returner. Had a big catch last week in Denver. Yeah, he, he plays. He makes plays. First down and ten. Raiders on their 13-yard line. Jacoby Ford in motion. Hand off. McFadden up the middle. Hit by Lopa to Tupu, and Tupu will grab him down by his jersey. As McFadden able to swerve around him, almost made a miss, but Lofa Tatupu was their best defensive player. The three-time Pro Bowler was hurt last year, played just five games with a pectoral injury. They won just five games last year, Tom, and now yeah. he is back, and he is the leader of this defense. Smart player. Yeah, he's, he's uh, you know, as, as should be, the, the linebacker, middle linebacker should be one of your leading tacklers. He's second leading tackler right now with... Lawyer Malloy being the first leader. And, of course, he played at USC for Pete Carroll and Ken Norton, Jr., their linebacker coach, was with him at USC. Second and ten. Campbell looking left, throwing left. Catch made by Hayward Bay. Tackled immediately by Nate Ness as Hayward Bay ran a quick slant there for a pickup of about seven. Nice tackle by Ness, who the Raiders figured to pick on today. Former Miami Dolphin was on the Dolphins' practice squad. A lot of people were surprised he was cut by Miami, claimed by Seattle quickly, Tom. He gets a, his first NFL start today. Yeah, they're, they're a starter down. Uh, Jennings, I'm not sure what he has. Did Hamstring. He have Hamstring, huh? Okay. Now I know. And also Walter Thurman, a concussion. He played real well last week, matching up with Larry Fitzgerald. Third down and three. Campbell in the gun. Inside handoff to McFadden. Malloy comes up and makes the tackle in the box. Lawyer Malloy, so active, the four-time Pro Bowler who played with Carroll back in New England when he first broke into the NFL. Came out a late blitz there, Tom, a safety blitz, smelling run on the draw, and the Raiders will bring in Leckler and punt the football. Yeah, he was up uh, playing close to the line of scrimmage and uh, came up uh, as soon as he saw it was a draw, or even prior to that, he saw that uh, something like a draw was coming. He came and filled the, filled the box, a 15-year veteran. Wow, he's been around a while. Here's Shane Leckler's third punt of the day. First two, 59, and then a 55-yarder. This one, a little wobbler. Not going to go quite as far. Room to go for Golden Tate. 30, a jab. That actually, it's Leon Washington in. And he's down the sideline. He may go. Raider 40, and Leckler tries to push him out. And then Washington jumps out of bounds. I don't know if he stepped out before then, but he's out on the Raider 27-yard line. It was Leon Washington, the veteran, the former Jetta, returned that punt, and not Golden Tate. And he was able to slide through some hits, a 43-yard punt return. Yeah, and why, would, uh, why wouldn't you have him back there? He can make things happen as a returner. I, I'm surprised that he's not back there all the time. We probably will be now. He might be. Well, Golden Tate's done a nice job as a rookie, but this guy just makes you miss. He must, he must have stepped out further backfield. Why did he go out of bounds on his own? I think he stepped out earlier. In any event, they give him the ball to the 27. They run Marshawn Lynch off the left side. Lynch gets wide, 25. Flag comes down, and Lynch going to roll forward to around the 22-yard line. Do the Seahawks hold again? Well, it's the line judge that did it. They threw the flag, and uh, usually that's somebody on this side, of the, our side of the line scrimmage. Offense number 32. Yeah. 10-yard penalty. Repeat first down. It's on uh, Quinton Ganther, who they just signed this week as a fullback. He had grew up in the Bay Area, former Washington Redskins. He played here last year and before that a Tennessee Titan went to Fairfield High School. Actually played Pop Warner football with Marshawn Lynch. Michael Robinson, the former Niner, has a sore hamstring inactive today. So they signed Ganther time and he held Cameron Wimbley there. Yeah, yeah they, this, this is like an old home week with all these guys from the Bay Area. Not a Pac-10 representation That's as well. Good, yeah. First and 20, Seattle back on the Raider 37-yard line. We have 40 seconds to play in a sluggish first quarter. Two-by-two two formation of blitz. Tyvon Branch will wrap up Hasselbeck, and now two other Raiders will jump on him. 
Tyvon Branch came at a blitz. Rolando McClain came up right before him. And then Matt Shaughnessy was there to finish him off. Not sure who will get the sack. The Raiders' third sack of Hasselbeck in the first quarter. Yeah, no chance. He had no chance from, from the start because uh, he had penetration by the defensive line and just enabled and you know, enabled uh, Branch to come through a gaping hole and make the sack. And Ben Hamilton, the left guard, had to fan out to block McLean, and that opened it up for Branch right in the A-gap to sack Hasselbeck, second down and 30, and off wide right to Justin Forsett. That'll be the final play of the first quarter. Four, the Seahawks go deep to Golden Tate, a nine route, a fly route, one on one with Nambi Asamoah. The Raiders blitzed. It was blocked well by Seattle. Tyvon Branch came in on a blitz time. John Carlson made the block, and Nambi good coverage there on Golden Tate down the sideline. Yeah, running stride for stride. They came with an all off blitz. Everybody came. Uh, there was nobody left in the backfield except the cover guys. Zero coverage, no safety help. Yeah. John Ryan will punt from the uh, chin of the Raider logo at midfield. Nick Miller calling for a fair catch. Hey. Something we thought he would never do, but he has done it right there. Smart play. Raiders will take over at around their 12-yard line when we come back. Seattle only had four total yards in the first half. Uh, three times Matt Hasselbeck was sacked, and the Raiders said Jason Campbell sacked one time. That's our Geico 15-minute review. You could save hundreds with Geico at 1-800-947-AUTO. We'll go to geico.com today. Jason Campbell tossed to McFadden coming left, led by his lead-blocking fullback, Marcel Reese. Good run as they get the edge there. Lofa Tutupu, the middle linebacker, the Seahawks, straight to the outside. Second and two, high formation. They give it to Reese on the dive. Had a bit of an opening, then it was just shut right in his face. Looked like he was going to pick up the first down easily. I think he got it. Again, right up, quarterback sneak. Campbell got stood up, and he got pushed from behind. It's all up to the spot here. But the Raiders had second down and two. Quick snapped him, gave it to the fullback on the dive. Then on third down, Hockley will give him the first down. They quarterback sneak, Jason Campbell. Yeah, and they went, they went again without much hesitation. They went quickly on that quarterback sneak, trying to get... Uh, Seahawks a little bit off balance, and now now you've got uh, you've got uh, Khalif Barnes coming in as that extra tight end. First and ten, Raiders on their own 23-yard line. Raiders lead three nothing. A 31-yard Janikowski field goal. Both tight ends, Khalif Barnes and Zach Miller, move in tandem. Line up as uh, right wings together. Lone back McFadden. They play fast. Campbell going to drop deep and throw a left uh, out cut. Hayward Bay got both feet in. First down, Raiders. Beautifully done there. Out to the 35-yard line. Darius Hayward Bay on the out cut right up against the sideline working against Nate Ness. Makes a nice catch and taps his feet down for a 12-yard pickup. Yeah, and they bring Khalif Barnes in as that extra tight end for blocking purposes, pass protection, or run purposes. And that time they did a nice job of faking the run to the right side. And, and coming back to the left side on that comeback to Bay. Nice route by uh, Darius Hayward Bay. Handoff to McFadden off the left side. And he rolls forward for just a couple. That time Nate Ness was playing outside leverage time. So it was difficult for Hayward Bay to cross him to run that out cut. But he set it up with a nice jab step in and then crossed him and picked up 12 yards. McFadden yep. picked up three on the first down carry. So it's second and seven Raiders. Well, with Hayward Bay's uh, speed, you better... You better uh, you better acknowledge the fact that he can go deep on you. So, and they've already gone deep one time today. Are, are these the fastest starting wide receivers in the history of the NFL? Darius Hayward Bay and Jacoby Ford. Now, DHB takes a playoff. Nick Miller is in. Ford slotted him on the left side. Seahawks jump off sides, and they do so so profoundly. The whistle to play dead. Aaron Curry, the outside linebacker slash DN, jumped off sides. Five yard penalty. Yeah, that, that's a safety measure there, Greg, uh, rather than let him continue. Once the guy is so so blatantly off sides on defense where the, the, he's not blockable at all, it becomes a safety factor, and they put that they put that in a few years back, that, that, uh, that rule. That's the hard count from Jason Campbell. Got to like the way the Raiders are 
pacing the game time. But the hard counts at the line of scrimmage, the quick snaps, they have the Seahawks defense a bit uh, bewildered right now. Here's the handoff to McFadden coming left, and that's the holding on this play. David Hawthorne with an ankle tap a tackle on McFadden for a huge loss of three yards. Yeah, he didn't go for any fake or any... Uh, he, he was very disciplined that time. He was playing wide on his side at the weak side linebacker, and they tried to get his momentum to go with the, the, the counter play action, but didn't work. Third down coming up. Raiders facing a third and six. He had a good third down defense. I think the opponents convert just 34% of the time. Eighth in the league. Raiders have converted on two of their first six. Slot formation right. Johnny Lee Higgins inside of Hayward Bay. Jacoby Ford left. Ness giving him loose coverage. All three guys have loose coverage. Campbell throws. Catch by Ford. First down Raiders. He got hit in flight by Nate Ness. The corner buried him in the back of the ribs and Ford's down. Yeah, he also got hurt. His left knee. He's holding his left knee as he went down. And that's where he got hit. As he was planting and coming down, that's what it looked like without watching the replay. And that's, uh, he's in a little pain there, Greg. Now he's grabbing his left knee. He got popped. He converts the third down, catching the slant on third and six for nine. Campbell also got hit by Chris Clemens, but Jacoby Ford is down. Dr. Warren King is attending to him with also Rod Martin at his side. It is his left knee. Raiders only have three healthy wide receivers right now. Darius Sayward Bay joined by Johnny Lee Higgins and Nick Miller. First and ten Raiders on their 48-yard line. Campbell to play action to McFadden. A deep drop. Plenty of time. Now check down to McFadden. Right flat. Runs by Trufant for a first down all the way down to the Seattle 38-yard line. Beautifully done by Darren McFadden to make Marcus Trufant miss and then he just swerved his way before Colin Cole and Red Bryant, two defensive uh, linemen, Tom, could race him down. But McFadden speeds for 14 yards. Yeah, the, the, the Campbell was looking down the field, had good protection, looking down the field to go deep. They had an unbalanced line to the left side, but good play action, nobody there. So he comes back to his secondary guy. And McFadden made two guys miss. Raiders are moving now. They have outgained Seattle 118 yards to four. Both tight ends slot in motion together. That would be Brandon Myers and Khalif Barnes. Here's a handoff to McFadden coming left. Hit by Aaron Curry. Spun back inside for maybe a gain of a yard. Raiders up 3 nothing here with 10 minutes to go in the half as we pause 10 seconds for station identification. John Lee Higgins is wide left, Darius Hayward Bay right, second down, Campbell looks left, throws left, he'll throw the ball out of bounds. As John Lee Higgins was well covered by a swarm of uh, Seahawks, Aaron Curry, the linebacker drop, low fit to Tufa was also there, Nate Ness, the cover corner originally there, Campbell may have gotten poked in the eye. It almost well, it almost looked like, uh, like everybody knew that the ball was intended for Higgins because... They all went that way. Yeah, they all. They had a they had a group meeting over there. I think one of the Seahawk linemen got his fingers through Jason's face mask and poked him in the eye. Third down and nine. Raiders on the Seattle 38 yard line. Campbell in the gun. Michael Bush now in for the first time. Campbell going to audibleize. He may run here against this front. Third down and long though. Third and nine. They are going to run. They give it a Bush. Bush breaks the tackle. Powers forward. Legs churning. Just shy. But now close enough to think about going for it. Yeah, close enough. You know, and you know, Coach Cable, he likes to do this. He likes to go for it. We've gone for it several times on fourth down, and depending on how short a fourth it is. And nicely done by the quarterback, Tom. That was going to be a pass play. Campbell saw, and not, and they talk about the loaded box. That was an empty box up front he could run on. So he gave it to Bush, and Bush powered forward for eight on third and nine. And now a timeout will be called here. Timeout open. Looks That's like the Raiders point. will go forward on fourth down and a yard. A oh, big play coming up. Nine minutes to go in the half. Raiders up three. Nothing. Big play here. Raiders will go forward. Fourth down and one. High formation. They break the eye now. Marcel Reese going to flex out wide left. Picked up by Lawyer Malloy. Alone back is Michael Bush. Will he get it here on fourth down? Campbell holds with the line a long time. Straight drop. Looks left. Throws. And it is caught by Reese, who is going for a Raider touchdown. An incredible play there. Oh, oh, touchdown, wow. Raiders. 
What a play. Oh, man. Out of an eye formation, they flexed Marcel Reese, and that's the matchup they want. One-on-one -on -one with Lawyer Malloy at this stage of his career at age 36, going on 37. He's not a great cover guy. And Reese, the former University of Washington Husky, ran a slant on him, Tom, caught it, and sped right through the middle of the defense on fourth and one. He goes 30 yards for a touchdown. Yeah, that look from this, from our vantage point, looked like uh, he was thrown into a crowd, and all of a sudden, out of the other end of the crowd, here comes Reese with a football. An extra point by Janikowski. Reese is not your ordinary fullback. This guy is a slash running back, wide receiver, tight end. He can do it all. The Raiders have not been 4-4 four and four at the midway point of the year since their Super Bowl run of 2002. Kansas City won in overtime on the Ryan Suckup field goal. They're 5-2. Here's the kickoff by Janikowski. A blast. Leon Washington will backpedal to the top and K in Oakland in the end zone. The north end zone will take a knee with a touchback. Janikowski's 21st of the year. Going back to Marcel Reese, Tom. What a yeah. great toy that is for Hugh Jackson and Tom Cable to have a fullback who has wide receiver, tight end, running back type skills. And he has some speed, too, because they have sent him deep on, on, on uh, several oca occasions this year. Crossing routes, uh, he'll catch in the crowd. Just uh, an outstanding play and a, and a, and a gutsy call because there was not a lot of room to get that ball in. What a throw that was by Campbell. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Breaks a tackle, then pulled down from behind by Tyvon Branch. Pick up a three for the former Oakland Tech and Cal star Marshawn Lynch playing here at the Coliseum for the first time ever as a pro, the former Buffalo Bill. But that throw by Campbell, Tom, it was yeah. a slant. He had to get it past Lawyer Malloy before the linebacker David Hawthorne dropped. He just had a little window there, and he, he got it through. That was my point. It looked like he was thrown into a crowd uh, from, from, our, from our view. Second and six. Hasselback got a roll out right after a fake stretch left. Throws to Chris Baker, the tight end, tackled by Cameron Wimbley, the linebacker. Chris Baker, known more for his blocking, the longtime Jet, one-year New England Patriot now here in Seattle. They'll run that action a lot. It's an outside zone running scheme. They'll fake the stretch one way, roll Hasselback the other. Of course, Matt played for years in the West Coast offense when Mike Holmgren was the head coach. Third down coming up. Seattle is yet to pick up a third down. This is a third and one I formation. Here's Marshawn Still Lynch got hit and dropped. They lined up in the backfield. Mike Gibson, the former Kale star, Napa high star, has a lead blocking fullback. And Lamar Houston came in at left defensive end and stuffed that for a loss on third down and one. Yeah, he just blew it up. He didn't blow it up on the line of scrimmage. He was in the backfield when he when that. Uh, they actually lost yardage a little bit on that. Raider defense is on fire. That was lost in the eight touchdown performance last week, but the defense set up 21 points. Three of those touchdowns, they scored one directly and set up two others. They're playing great today. John Ryan will blast one a short punt. Nick Miller comes racing up, does not call for a fair catch, and he's tackled immediately by the gunner. Caught the ball on the 34-yard line, was tackled by Ben Obamanu. First and ten Raiders on their own 33. They start up 10 nothing mid-second quarter. Handoff Michael Bush off the right side. Tackled from behind by the former Raider, Chris Clemens. Clemens had a terrific year with the Raiders back in 07. Led the team in quarterback sacks with eight. Only made a couple of starts, Tom. He only played 37% of the defensive snaps that year, and he had eight sacks. Yeah, he's not a really big guy, you know, for by defensive lineman. The status, a uh, 254 pounder, but uh, he is an active guy, and he's leading them. Yeah, he is leading them uh, their sacks uh, with five and a half. Second down of 11 Raiders. There was a one-yard stop to Michael Bush, who will take this series at least the outset of it over Darren McFadden. Marcel Reese may have flinched. They got a whistle. This play dead. Marcel Reese uh, false started. It'll cost the Raiders five yards. False start offense number 45. Five-yard penalty. It's second down. They score a touchdown on one play, you come back and full start of another. Mm. Trying to get a quick start there. No X's and O's needed. It's a no-brainer. Samuel Adams, Boston Logger. The perfect call on game day. Samuel Adams, take pride in your beer. And a happy All Hallows Eve to you. Here from the Oakland Coliseum. Raiders with a 10 nothing lead. Trying to get to 4-4 four and four on the year. The empty set now. Marcel Reese motions out. He is wide right. 
Slot formation left. Campbell to pump. Now deeper drop and a throw out left. And it's caught by Marcel Reese. Tackled immediately by the rookie safety Earl Thomas out of Texas who has played well. Raiders are trying to get some matchups here for Marcel Reese to go against a, a linebacker. That time they rolled Earl Thomas over as a, a good cover safety to pick him up. They have respect for him now. Yeah, and they, well, when they do that, you know, they're trying to get man-to-man over there, take advantage of that. But they, on the left side, they had Hayward Bay and, and uh, Jacoby Ford, two speedsters. And those are the guys they really like to hit down the field. Third down and seven, Raiders. 5.20 to play in the half. Raiders up 10-0. Campbell in the gun. Michael Bush is way out right. And now a flag comes oh, down. Man. A false start again. That was a different formation we've seen from the false Raiders. Start offense, number 12. Five-yard penalty. Third the Kobe Ford lined up uh, tight left. The ball was on the right hash mark, and they had kind of a bunch to the right. But Michael Bush was not quite among the bunch, Tom, but he wasn't to Campbell's right in the gun. A new formation there. Yeah, a new formation, and, uh, you know, using a hard count, and uh, they seem to be taking turns and flinching. Don't want to lull here late in the first half. Third down and 12 Raiders back on the 31 now. Two-by-two two formation, Miller and Ford are right. Higgins and Hayward Bay left. Campbell back, looking left, throwing left, short, caught by DHP. And he tries to break one tackle. He does, but Roy Lewis comes in and pushes him down rudely and tries to strip him. And now a flag comes down. Golden Tate pushed one of the Raiders, and it was Robert Gallery who wants to be... Uh, was it, it wasn't Golden Tate. It was Chris Clements. Obviously, Tate now playing on defense. Clements pushed Gallery. That should be a personal foul on Clements, which would give the Raiders an automatic first down. He knocked Gallery right off his feet on the Raiders' sideline. Gallery came up and went after him. There's Hockey League. After the play was over, personal foul. On this Sarah Russell's defense, number 91. 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Well, Gallery shoved one of the Seahawks in the back, which they did not. It was Clements. And Clements jumped up and pushed Gallery way late. So it's always the uh, retribution they see. Not a very smart thing to do, especially in front of the Raider bench. But very well done by Gallery to get that one push in and uh, force the retaliation. That could change the late half moments of this half. Now the Raiders have a first down, 440 and rolling to play. Raiders have two timeouts. Seattle has three. Raiders up 10 at nothing. Zach Miller, Marcel Reese. Now also Philippe Barnes all moving simultaneously. And now timeout Raiders. A little too much formations. Timeout called by the Raiders here. They got a little too many, too many guys on the field, Greg. Yeah, 12, 12? 12 guys on offense. And Marcel Reese didn't know where to line up. <laughs> and half of the 12 are moving in motion simultaneously. That was busy. Yeah. A lot going on. We invite you to visit compassmedianetworks.com slash sports to enter a chance to win $10,000 from Yellow Book 360. If a Raider returns an opening and kickoff for a touchdown, you could win big. At, see website for rules and details. Raiders with a 10 nothing lead here. With 4.26 to go in the first half, what has turned out to be a beautiful day. It was supposed to rain today. A flag came in way late here. What's this for? Huddle. 12, 12 men in the huddle by the yeah. offense. Illegal substitution. That occurred before the timeout. Therefore, there's a five-yard penalty. Yeah. Tom, you were all over that. It's obviously a penalty to play with 12, but you can't even huddle yeah. 12. That's a penalty as well. Yeah, they almost got away with it, but the... Uh pretty hard to hide 12 guys that are that big, don't you think? Well, you can't really sneak around. The only guy out there that, that, that you can hide was Nick Miller, and I think he was split out. <laughs> Sometimes you get away Oakland with it, but not very often. I'm sorry, they've used one timeout. Oakland has two remaining. Ed Hockey League, the attorney. One of the very best in the NFL. He had a rough year last year, a blown uh, game between Denver and San Diego, but a very good official. Handoff to Darren McFadden off the left side, wrapped up and thrown down rudely by Kentuan Bulmer, former Niner, who was a bust as a Niner, number one draft pick in the North Carolina, but playing well. Scott McLuhan has uh, moved into Seattle's front office, the former Niner GM, so a lot of former 49ers have turned up in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, a lot of guys that he liked uh, when he when he was running the show over across the bay. Uh, that, that happens a lot 
you know, you get some guys off, obviously that Pete Carroll likes, you know, and he'll bring in. Michael Robinson as well, former Niner they cut, that Seattle signed, second down of 11, inside hand off to McFadden, out of the gun, Will Herring right there as McFadden trying to cut back the other way, and Herring was sitting right there to make a hard tackle, a gain of two. So third down coming up for the Raiders now on the Seattle 48-yard line. Remember, Seattle will get the football first to start the third quarter. So you'd like to continue the momentum here up until halftime. Denver was able to score late in the half last week, come back and score again early in the third quarter. The only time they had any flow to their attack last week, third and nine Raiders. Raiders three of nine on third downs today. Higgins and Ford are slotted right, DHB to left, here comes Babineau on a blitz, Campbell moves away from it beautifully, and I will run and get hit up against the white, any flag for a late hit, no, Cam Chancellor, the big safety hit him, but he started to hit in the field of play, so no flag for a personal foul on the quarterback. No, and, and, and uh, the nice job by Campbell just avoiding getting sacked. But then when he started to scramble, everybody, they, all the receivers on his side were all down the field, too far for him to even uh, to try to attempt to pass, and then they were too far to even try to work back to him. And it's Seattle's uh, third down bandit defense. They also called it Nickel Babs. Jordan Babineau, the big play guy, unleashed it on a blitz there, forced Campbell to run for his life. Leckler into punt, and it is Golden Tate now back to return this punt. Leckler kicks it at the 39-yard line. Golden Tate does not call for a fair catch. He was moving his hand up, I think, to block the sun, but he was simulating the motion of a fair catch. Brandon Myers thought he was calling for a fair catch. The Raiders are hot. What he was doing was blocking the sun. Yeah, that, that's a fine line there. You know, you, you can block the sun, but you can't wave your hand. And, and he, was, he was doing it. It looked like he was doing it legally. He was just shading his eyes, and you can do that. But there it was looked, no fair catch signal. The receiver was blocking the sun from his eyes. It was legal. A fair catch signal is this. Yeah, Hiram Eugene let him go. He yeah. could he could have blown him up. And watching the replay and watching it live, it looked like that's what he was doing. He was not waving his hand back and forth. He just put the hand up to block the sun, which they're allowed to do. Leckler's not happy. Tom Cable walks physically out of the field about five yards. First and ten, Seattle on the 20-yard line. Play action, a blitz. They pick it up at a lob. John Carlson wide open. 40. 45 Raider territory. Now he is knocked out by Stanford route on the Raider 44-yard line. Rolando McLean, the middle linebacker, got beat there by the tight end John Carlson. who was having a poor year, but that time he got wide open for the Seahawks by far. Biggest play of the game, a 36-yard catch and run. Yeah, and their first first down, and, uh, and the, they found a weakness, and the, one of the weaknesses that the Raiders have is when you can get their one-on-one -on -one coverage on their linebackers. Seattle only had 12 yards of offense before that play, and that just tripled it. First and 10, Seattle on the 45, play action to Lynch, Hasselback throwing a deep ball for Mike Williams, he overthrew him. Well covered, double covered there by Stanford Rott with help from Michael Huff and the uh, safety. They took a deep shot. Mike Williams not known for his speed, Tom. He's a big, huge guy at 6 feet 5, 235 pounds. But that time he ran a, a vertical, and the Raiders had him blanketed. Yeah, he ran. It wasn't a bad route, you know, but it, it would have had to be a great catch and a perfect throw, and uh, he, was covered, he was covered very well. You know, the Hasselback does have... Six passes for touchdowns this year. And six interceptions. He's not yeah. throwing a pick in a couple of games. He's a good player. Three-time Pro Bowler. Low center snap. Flag down. Throw. Stop route. Caught by Golden Tate. And Tate now is uh, hit by Ware and then buried out inside the Raider 20-yard line by Tyvon Branch. What's the flag for? Illegal formation offense, number 81. Big break. It's not on the line of strength. Golden Tate Golden was back penalty. too far, and that negates a 26-yard gain. Yeah. Would have been Seattle ball on the Raider 19-yard line. I thought maybe they, he should have, they should have flagged him down the field, too. For, for pushing off. Yeah, pushing off. Today's broadcast of the NFL is brought to you by Wrangler five-star premium denim jeans for long-lasting comfort. The right choice is Wrangler. Seattle is second and 15 at midfield. 159 to go in the half. Raiders up 10 nothing. Hasselback throws out left in the coverage. Well done by Nandi Asamoa all over Mike Williams. Williams never even got set to catch the ball. Or is that Ben Obamanu? It was Obamanu, not Mike Williams. And that'll bring up 
a third down. They're not going to Mike Williams nearly as much today, Tom, as they had the previous yeah. two games when he caught 21 passes. He has no catches today. Yeah, he wasn't even on the field that last break. And now he is. He goes out wide right, watched by Jeremy Ware. In a slot left goes Deion Butler inside a Golden Tate. John Carlson, the tight end, lines up to Hasselback's right. Forsett left. Raiders pressure with four. Hasselback throws. Too low and wide. Incomplete. Good coverage there by Rolando McClain on Justin Forsett. And the Seahawks, ever since uh, Golden Tate misaligned and ruined that possession, they'll bring in John Ryan to punt the football away. Yeah, not a very good uh, drive for the, and you're right, one play could just mess up an entire drive, and that time Tate messed it up by not just inches, not being on the line of scrimmage when he's supposed to be, and all of a sudden negated a big play. Sixth punt of the first half for John Ryan, rookie snapper Clint Gresham will snap it, Ryan gets it away from the 41-yard line, Nick Miller will not go near it it'll land at the eight and the seahawks will down it nicely done there by roy lewis the defensive back here at the oakland alameda county coliseum lead play behind marcel reese mccann gonna pop out wide and gets a block from darius hayward bay and runs out stays in bounds and he has a good gain out to around the 13 yard line picked up seven or eight yeah that was a good call good call because that that play always has a chance to bounce outside or cut back in and uh, now you put CL in a position, will they use a timeout or will they not? Depends on what the Raiders here do on second and third down. Raiders with 1.15 to play, break the huddle with 20 on the play clock. Second and three at Raiders. They get an eye formation, Reese directly ahead of McFadden. Jason Campbell gives it to McFadden right, hit behind the line, and that lost yardage, and now a timeout will be called by Pete Carroll. Chris Clemens able to make that play, the uh, defensive end. Timeout called with 101 to go in the half. And also there is a Seahawk who was down. It is Red Bryant who was down, one of their better players. Young man who was a defensive tackle. They moved to defensive end. He is down. A great run stuffer. Yeah, I think he got hurt uh, by, by uh, with that time, Chris Clemens coming down the line from the weak side away from the play. He made the play. He made part of the play from the back side. He, he slowed it down. Langston Walker's also slow to get up. Langston's been playing with a bad right elbow for weeks, a hyperextended right elbow. Red Bryant wears number 79 to honor his father-in-law. He married Janelle Green, Jacob Green's daughter. Slot left, Johnny Lee Higgins inside of Darius Hayward Bay and Jacoby Ford out right. McFadden is to Campbell's right in the gun. Satelli so reaches his left hand. They are going to throw. Campbell looking left. Going to throw a deep ball left for Hayward Bay. He made the catch. Then he oh. lost it going to the ground. He went up with two hands, made the catch. And then as he came down to the ground, he lost the ball. And it may have been poked out of there as well by the safety help from Kennard Cox. But Hayward Bay in a jump ball had that ball delivered by Campbell who winds up on his back. Yeah, and Campbell took a pretty good shot coming back and uh, by, by throwing the ball and uh, coming up unsuccessful. That ball was actually un underthrown a little bit. Uh, by doing that, that uh, saves one of uh, Seattle's timeouts. Yes, it does. So here's Leckler to punt for a fifth time. We've had 11 punts total by Ryan and Leckler. Leckler gets it away at the four-yard line. A blast. Room to go, though. No gunners down at all. Dangerous moment here. Leon Washington can go. Gets a block. Forty cuts inside on Trevor Scott that his knee touch. Apparently not. And he comes forward for the yarder. So he got so low. But he's, he put his hands down to prevent the knee from touching. Stevie Brown in on the tackle. But Leon Washington, he is so electrifying, mainly on kickoffs time. He has taken two back this year, six for touchdowns in his career, the former Jet turned Seahawk. But he's pretty good on punts as well. Yeah, and he doesn't have very far to go to get his hand on the ground because he's only 5'8". <laughs> 19-yard punt return. Here comes Seattle now, 40 seconds to go. Raiders up 10-0. Hawks have two timeouts to go. They'll start from their 45-yard line. Slot left, Brandon Stokely, and now the slot guy. Hasselback throws, and it is caught by Stokely out of bounds. Looked like he was throwing to Mike Williams on the in-cut, but he was throwing the out-cut to Stokely, who beat Stanford route. 
Brandon Stokely, one of the best slot receivers in the league history, the former Raven Super Bowl champion, also got a ring with the Colts in the last three years in Denver. Now, first year Seahawk was playing today for the first time here late in the half. Yeah, I think uh, Williams thought that ball was coming to him through, too, because he, he raised his arms up in the air. First and 10, Seattle on the Raider 42. Hasselback, three receivers, right, steps up, throws quickly, caught. And it's Justin Forsett, the back, who was dropped. Mitchell trying to pull it out late. And a, a timeout called by Pete Carroll with 28 seconds to go. Seattle's nearly already in field goal range. I think they are. Uh, the Raider 33. A field goal from here would be 51 yards away. So they've been able to move uh, quickly into point territory. We'll see if they can get close to the end zone before the half expires. They have one more timeout remaining. Only seven games. Last year, early in the year, he took a shot in the back from uh, Patrick Willis. Here's a lob by Hasselbeck. Golden Tate, one foot down or both? No. He got one down, but not the second one. Jeremy Ware, very good coverage. The subject to review here. And he'll take a look at this upstairs to see if he made the catch. He would be down inside the Raider 20-yard line, but very good coverage there. But Jeremy Ware. Yeah, he went up in the air, Greg, and caught it with his hands, but I think his left foot, his right foot came down in bounds, but I think his left foot as he was backing away came out out of bounds. Yeah, left foot's out. Right on the right on the line. Good call, so that will not be reviewed by uh, the group upstairs. Jerry Seaman is here, by the way, with Tom Sifferman today and Roger Ruth, the replay video officials. Third and one, Seattle. They may run one here with a timeout. Raiders bring Mitchell in the box. Third and one, 33. Hasselback will throw. Quick one right. He overthrew Golden Tate. Former Syracuse Orangeman, right hash mark, right-footed kicker. Gresham will snap. Ryan, the punter, will hold. They have it down. Mare has it away. He's going to have the distance, and it is no good. The streak ends here going towards the black hole end zone. It is wide right. From 51 yards away, Mare misses after making 30 in a row. And the Raiders have time here. Let's see what they do with Janikowski. They have the ball on the 41-yard line. Their own 41, and they have two timeouts remaining and 15 seconds to go. Yeah, well, they uh, yeah they do. So uh, all they and they they don't need to they don't need to throw the ball on the sideline. They can throw the ball up. You know, in they're the going to kneel down. They're not yeah. even going to try. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. He could take a shot, get a flag on Janikowski's leg. You only need about 20 yards, but they're going to kneel down and be content to go into the halftime locker room up 10 to nothing. Seahawks, nothing running. The Marshawn Lynch, five carries, minus two yards. Justin Forsett had two carries, five yards. So that's seven attempts for three yards. They had four big plays in the first half. A 35-yard pass to Carlson, 22 to Forsett, 13 to Stokely, 12 to Golden Tate. The Raiders' defense has been susceptible to giving up big plays. They've got to make sure that has not happened today. They're flinching a shutout. 10 nothing. second half underway. Janikowski will kick off towards the south black hole end zone. Going to bounce one again. It squirts past Leon Washington, who stumbled to the ground, picks it up 10, and does not make the 15. First and 10, Seattle on their own 14-yard line. 10 nothing. First play, second half play action. A lynch throw and a catch to the tight end, John Carlson. Tackled immediately by Rolando McClain. Look for the Seahawks try to get Carlson more involved. He had a 55 and a 51 yard, a 55 and a 51 yard season catch total his first two years in the league. He's not done much the first uh, part of this year time. Just four catches in three games coming in today. They may try to work him against Rolando McClain now. Second and three, gain of seven. They go into an I formation. Quinton Ganther, the lead play. Lynch going to cut back and run for the first down. His best run of the day by far. And a slight cut back off that uh, outside zone run. More of an inside zone that one was. Hit by Tyvon Branch, but Lynch able to pick up seven yards. Yeah, they're, they're going to work quickly. And, and also, I think what they'll do uh, passing-wise is... Uh, Revert to the the short route uh, so that they so that Hasselback doesn't have to hold the ball very long because their their pass uh, protection has not been very good. And the reason I said they're going to throw more to Carlson, Mike Williams is not out to begin the second half. There's something must be physically wrong with him. Hasselback a play action throws left wobbly ball incomplete. Bad pass came out of his hand wobbling. He was going to Ben Obamanu and good coverage there by the Raiders and some pressure from Tommy Kelly. Uh, Stanford Rott was on the initial coverage, but Kelly got some heat on the quarterback, which forced the ball to come out wobbly. Yeah, you wonder where, what happened to Mike Williams. I don't even know if he's on the sideline. He is. Over oh, he on is. the sideline with a towel on his head. And the win against Arizona 
Uh, he has not caught a ball, been targeted only once deep down the field. Second and ten, Seattle on the 28, double tights. They're going to play action to Lynch. Hasselback throws, caught by Carlson, tackled immediately by Tyvon Branch. Lynch, all, uh, pardon me, uh, the ha- quarterback Hasselback almost had that ball tipped away. There was pressure from his backside. Quentin Groves, the weak side linebacker, came at a blitz time and almost strip sacked him. And he had no idea he was there on his blind side. Yeah, that's a dangerous thing for a quarterback when you can't see the guy coming. And he came, he didn't come on, untouched, but he came virtually unblocked. And then the, the blocker just got a, a, barely got a piece of him. Seahawks have not converted on third down. Third and down has been 0 for 7 today. Third and 5. Three receivers go left. Obamanu, Butler, Tate, Hasselback, and a lob one for Butler. Broken up beautifully by Stanford Rock, who was playing so well. What a timing there on that route down the sideline. Stanford got his hand up, Tom. Just as the ball was coming into the yeah. reach of Butler, and he knocked the ball away. Yeah, you're running with a guy. You're not looking back at the ball. You're looking at the uh, the eyes of the receiver, and then and then your teammates will yell, ball, 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 let you know when the ball is getting close by him. And uh, he played that perfectly. His Raiders secondary is playing uh, their best football back-to-back games now. Here's John Ryan's seventh punt of the day. Nick Miller going to backpedal. Will he catch this ball? Back inside the five. He has room to go. That ball may have gone to the end zone, though. Tries to get wide ten, then he got hit by Cam Chancellor, the big safety, and buried on the 11 yard line. Nick should have let that one go in the end zone for a touchback, but he wanted to return it. 52 yard punt by Ryan, six yard return uh, there by Nick Miller. Raiders will start on the 12, and we come back up 10 0. 12 52 to play third quarter from Oakland, and a flag down. Hey, hold on, a flag is down. Before we go to break here, let's see what Ed Hockley's crew During the has. Return, illegal block in the back by the receiving team number 58. Mm. That'll be half the distance to the goal. Oakland will keep the ball. First down. Second time today, the Raiders will start from their six-yard line. I formation. They give it to McFadden, led by Marcel Reese. Good block on Lawyer Malloy. And that's enough of a crease to have McFadden roll out to around the nine-yard line. A pickup of three, second and seven. Marcel Reese time has gotten to be a much better lead blocker. And that's a tough uh, skill set for this guy. He was a wide receiver. Raiders looked at him at tight end, maybe running back. But being a lead blocker is a whole different thing. It's a whole different thing, uh, you know, a different approach to the game uh, as far as are you a hard-nosed guy and uh, things of that nature. And he has turned into a, a, a pretty valuable asset. And they gave McFadden two on the last carry, second and eight on the eight-yard line. True eye behind it, Campbell. There's a drop and a look and a quick throw right. A stop route for Hayward Bay. He's got the Raider first down, then pushed out on the 20-yard line. Marcus Trufant had to respect Hayward Bay's speed as he gave him a little bit of a room, and then Hayward Bay just locked on the stop route to pick up a nice gain of 12 yards there. Yeah, excellent timing uh, on, the, on the route uh, with Hayward Bay and... and uh and Jason Campbell, and the, the good part about that is uh, that route is it doesn't take a lot of time, and uh, there's no pass rush involved. First and ten Raiders, they moved out from their six to their 20-yard line. And off McFadden coming left, big hole, first down, 30, 40, midfield, he may go if he gets a block, he is pulled down from behind by Kennard Cox, the safety, saved the touchdown. He was trying to get a block from Johnny Lee Higgins ahead on Earl Thomas, and Cox just pulled him down, otherwise he would have been gone. A 50-yard run there by Darren McFadden, all the way to the Seattle 31-yard line. Boy, has he, been, has he become a guy to have fun to, and fun to watch? I mean, because uh, he once he gets in the open, and now he's starting to get it himself in the open. Before he wasn't shedding the blocks, shedding the tackles. Now he's doing a great job of getting himself in the open. And uh, once he gets there, you better you better be fast. And Cox just able to grab him from behind, trip him up as he hit him on the right hip. Campbell back will throw ball deflected in the interior line, incomplete. One of their linemen got a hand up and was able to deflect that football there. It'll bring up a second down and ten. Gonna go. He was going to the slot guy on that one. He was going to Jacoby Ford, who's lined up in the slot on the right side, and it was just a little quick uh, hook, uh, hook to the outside. Nothing fancy about it. But one of those big defensive linemen got their hands up. Raheem Brock, the longtime Indianapolis Colt. He was there for eight years. 
16 playoff games, was a part of their Super Bowl 41 win over Chicago. Hand off and reverse now to Jacoby Ford after Bush took it running right. Ford comes left. Great block by Campbell on Lawyer Malloy. And Ford has a Raider first down at the Seattle 20-yard line. What a block by the quarterback. Jason <laughs> oh, Campbell it. laid out Lawyer Malloy. I love it. I love it. I mean, they, they, they're, that's what you mean. That's what the team player is all about. I mean, here, he, you know, he could have very easily just kind of sloughed him. He didn't slough him. He got a piece to him. He got his shoulder in him. Raiders ran a true reverse, handing it off to Bush coming right, and then the reverse to forward left, and Campbell was out. Lawyer Malloy was coming in. That was a great block by Campbell to uh, lift Lawyer Malloy. He cleated him. First and ten. Hand off McFadden back in. Now Malloy, who's angry, comes in, playing in the box, and he makes the tackle from the uh, back side. That'll bring up a second down and short. Uh, the Raiders' time trying to open this up a bit. Uh, pardon me, a second down and uh, ten. They got short on first down, so second and ten coming up. Raiders again inside the red zone, where Seattle has been tough all year. A field goal does not give them a, a two-score lead. A touchdown will, so a big difference. So timeout's going to be called here. Marcel Reese came off the field. The Raiders are... Yeah, but I don't know. There, uh, there must be something going on in the locker room because all of a sudden I think I think Jacoby Ford headed for the locker room as well. Now, he was just running into the locker room, so it wasn't uh, he wasn't limping or anything, but uh, all right. we still haven't seen anything of Namdi yet either. And picks up about three. Lofa Tutupu makes the tackle on McFadden. That'll bring up a third down and eight. Again, a field goal would give the Raiders a 13-point lead, and uh, two touchdowns could still pass them, so getting into the end zone, paramount here. Raiders on third down today. They've converted three of 11. Campbell in the shotgun. As McFadden do his right, Slot formation right. Johnny Lee Higgins inside of Nick Miller is outside the numbers. They would be left. A blitz up the middle. Campbell throws. Ball deflected incomplete. Oh, it was deflected by Will Herring, the linebacker who came in the A gap. He just didn't get all the way home time, so he stayed around the line and knocked the ball away. And they'll bring in Janikowski for a field goal. That's about the third one that's been deflected like that. And they're all similar passes. They're all short routes where, where Campbell takes a short set. And uh, and, and you know there uh, this must be a scouting report because they're doing a nice job in doing and uh, and taking care of that and blocking those players. Thirty-six yard field goal by Seabass. He made one from thirty-one earlier in the game. Condo will snap. Lecter will hold from the left hash mark. Left footed kicker is good again. The Raiders don't get uh, six and seven, but they do get a second three and now lead this game thirteen to nothing. off the clock. Jano from 36. Good kick off to Leon Washington. Six career kickoff return scores. 10, 15, 20. Has a seam 30. And then he gets hit and drop, but he rolls all the way out to the 36-yard line. Michael Huff was in the area along with Stevie Brown. His second tackle on kickoff coverage today. Protective device on the hand. Raiders come busting through a pre snap penalty, though. This will be a false start called on Seattle. They had Hockley, our referee start, today. Offense, number 78. Five yard penalty. It's first down. Called on Tyler Columbus, the left tackle. There's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch off the right side. Tackle from the backside by Matt Shaughnessy. Marshawn Lynch on first and 15 picks up two. If you are entertaining this season, we remind you and invite you to visit your local store to pick up New Amsterdam gin and find out how to get discounted Raider tickets from New Amsterdam gin. Raiders are home next Sunday for Kansas City. That is looming as a showdown in the AFC West. Chiefs won again today in overtime. They beat Buffalo on a field goal. They are 5-2. and two. The Raiders are 3-4. and four. A win today would get them to 4-4 four and four and set it up for next Sunday. And the bye week after, Hasselbeck on second and 13, a lob down the sideline for Golden Tate, who went up, and is he inbounds? He caught the ball inbounds. What a play that was by Tate, who made many of those great catches 
for Charlie Weiss at Notre Dame. Went up with two hands right over the top of the coverage of Jeremy Ware playing for Asamoah. Tate is slow to get to his feet, but what a catch that was. Yeah, he's limping too, and he's pulled up uh, uh, right about the four on the forty uh, on the forty yard line, right on the four in the O. And just uh, I'm not sure what part of his body he's holding. It's got to be one of his legs. He could not make it off the field. Did he get both feet down? One down, and he got the second one down. Great catch by Golden Tate. First and ten, Seattle on the Raider 43-yard line. Offside eye, Ganther ahead of Marshawn Lynch and all Oakland backfield. Hassel back to play action. A deep ball right on Stanford route. He broke it up, but he commits a pass interference call on Dion Butler. And they'll put the ball inside the Raider 10-yard line. Well, now we'll get him back in the ball game real quick. Back-to-back plays. Big for while the other one. A nice catch by Tate, but a pass interference and the Pass interference, defense number 26. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. First down. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a big chunk of yardage that's given up anytime you get a, a pass interference on a deep route like that, and that's uh, that's one way to get back in the game. And they face guarded. He did not turn for the ball, and he ran right through Deion Butler. It is a 31 yard penalty. They spotted on the 12 yard line. Deion Butler's their speed guy, second year wide receiver out of Penn State. First and 10, Seattle. This game is certainly in balance. 13 to nothing. Raiders ahead. Hasselback throwing and nobody there. Tried to throw a corner route to Deion Butler. Never got to the corner. He was bumped off of that by Jeremy Ware. Yeah, he's bumped legally. And uh, in the ball game now is Mike Williams. Mike Williams was on the other side running a route against the running against Stanford route. Looked like he stopped that route route momentarily. Tried to run a double move on Ware. And Hasselback wanted them to go directly to the back corner of the end zone up against the north end zone. Second and ten, Seattle on the Raider 12-yard line. Raiders up 13-0. Hasselback handoff, Marshawn Lynch grabbed by Richard Seymour. He got away from Seymour, though, and high-stepping all the way to the 11-yard line. Vintage Marshawn Lynch, who was mad that he didn't score. Quentin Groves finally got Lynch down, who was a tackle-breaking machine. Richard Seymour was going to grab him around the waist and throw him back. But he lost him. Lynch spun out of that and was able to gain a yard when he should have lost four. Yeah, he should have lost four. And sometimes, he, you know, when when uh, when Richard Seymour was waiting for help to come and finish it off and possibly strip him of the ball, he just spun away. He's a powerful guy. Mike Williams is back in now. He is lined up in a two-by-two two formation to the left side. Be leery of a fade to him on third down. Hasselback throws. Williams dropped it. He had the first down and may have scored a touchdown. He flat out dropped it. Reminiscent of his brief time as a Raider. He had a bad drop in Nashville. Boy, he had that ball. Would have had the first down. May have scored. And he dropped the ball. Yeah, big target coming on a little shallow, a little delayed cross over the middle of the field. Would have had, you're right, would have had the first down and possibly scored. He just came in underneath. Let the ball get into his body. He has dropped nothing this year in all the games I've watched. This guy has been a vice grip. He's a whole different player. But just came back on the field for the first time after missing a big chunk of the game due to injury. And he flat out dropped it. Here's Mare, 29-yard field goal, left hash mark, right-footed kicker. Ryan has it down, and Mare has oh, missed another. He's got a new streak now. After making 30 in a row coming into the game, he has missed two in a row. As he hooked that one, and that was a chippy from the Raider locker room with a tremendous wrap on his entire left hand. And that thing is huge. Looks like he gets blo- a boxing glove on that hand. Here's Jason Campbell, first and ten toss play to McFadden coming right, led by Langton Walker. Her lawyer Malloy comes flying up along with David Hawthorne, and they stuff McFadden for a two-yard loss. So the injury to McFadden and Asimov, obviously, as we were told, Tom, the hand, hard to tell what exactly is wrong with the hand. Well, it looks like, you know, they, they might have even put a little uh, a temporary cast on there, and then he had to pat it really yeah. well in order for him to be qualified to go back in the ballgame. He can't have a hard cast, so they got to soften it up. Second down of 11, McFadden got uh, hit for a yard loss. Reese going to slide in motion left. Campbell, play action to Michael Bush. Screen to Marcel Reese, the fullback. Couple of blocks out. Got a good one from Satelli. Runs for a first down midfield to Seattle. Cuts inside. Seattle 35. Reese finally dropped on the Seattle 30-yard line. The fullback taking over the game. 
Marcel Reese, who has scored the game's only touchdown on a 30-yard slant, now runs for 51 on a screen. What a great weapon when you can have a fullback who's a blocker, primarily a lead blocker, or so the, so you think. So all of a sudden, you can throw a screen to him, you can spit him out, you can throw a slant to him, you can throw a fade to him. What a weapon. Defenses just don't account for the fullback a lot. David Hawthorne missed a tackle. He got a good block from Samson Satelli before that, and then Reese just took off, and he has good speed. Here's Michael Bush banging straight ahead. Chris Clemens, the former Raider, in on the tackle, but Bush able to bang it inside the 30 to around the 27-yard line. He got three. Second down and, a, and seven. 51-yard screen to Marcel Reese after his 30-yard slant for a touchdown. He has 90 yards receiving. This former University of Washington Husky wideout, where the Raiders converted to eventually fullback. The fan the lone back, two tight ends. We are going to call Khalid Barnes a tight end. He and a Zach Miller go in tandem motion left. Zach a left wing. Campbell with a play action. Nobody there. He throws the ball away. The uh, handoff to McFadden was on the wrong side. McFadden went left. Campbell thought it was a right side handoff. He uh, called the play for the even numbers going to the right. McFadden thought it was an odd number left time, and there was no play action there at all on Campbell. He also got pressure right in his face immediately from Aaron Curry. just threw it away. Yeah, and he had to get it. He was outside uh, the pocket area, so there was no ground. He, they had to check. The uh, referee always has to check with one, of the, with one of the line judges as far as whether he was wide enough. Jason is moving extremely well today. Any concern about... The left knee sprain from Candlestick of two weeks ago, long gone. He is really spry. Third and seven. There's a blitz in the A-gap. They pick it up. Campbell going to lob one out for Nick Miller. Jump ball off of Nick Sands. Incomplete and no flag on Marcus Trufant. Mm. He got help from Cam Chancellor, the safety over the top. Nick got his hands on it. Trufant, physical, but no yellow on the field. Yeah, it looked like Nick uh, might have had a chance to catch it. It, didn't, it looked like it, it went he right did. through his feet his hands. He goes up in the air. Hit him, and right, hit him the right in the face. Yeah. And through his hands. So a field goal for Janikowski here for a 16-0 lead, which would be exactly two scores, two touchdowns and two two-pointers. 45-yarder right hash mark. Leckler has it down. Janikowski a line no. drive, and it is no good. No, that one. Did not hit it well at all. Janikowski, as he, well, that ball just knuckled wide to the left. He slipped after yeah. It looked like his balance was off. He was on the ground after the ball was over, and he usually is not. So he might, he might have, his plant foot probably slipped on him. As the whole thing look, we'll get a good look from the side now as he approached the ball. As he hit it, his left foot slid. His plant foot, or his right foot, he's a left footed kicker. His right foot slid. No rain here today, but it has been raining throughout, as you know, the week in the Bay Area. So the uh, Seahawks. We'll go first and 10 on the 35-yard line. There's Hasselbeck, a design roll throw for Deion Butler, banged out there by Stanford Route. So Nandi Asamoah is back in. He was wearing before uh, a noticeable wrap on his left hand, but now he has put gloves on over both, so it's hard for the Seahawks to see which hand it is. He has, he's playing with two black gloves. But the wrap is on the left uh, hand. He's going to play tight on uh, Mike Williams now. There's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch coming left, and he got swallowed up by Matt Shaughnessy and Rolando McClain. Shaughnessy plays the run so well. Just got off the block that time, shedded it quickly, and he hit Marshawn Lynch. They're all over Marshawn Lynch. He can't do a thing today, playing his first ever game back at his hometown. He has nine carries for seven yards. Four minutes to go, late third quarter. Raiders up 13 to nothing. Third down and seven. Mike Williams comes wide left. Watched by Nandi. Slot right. Stokely in the slot. Watched by Rout. And out wide of that is Butler. Watched by Ware. Hasselback throws middle. Too high and complete. He overthrew the tight end. John Carlson well covered there by a pumped up Mike Mitchell. You think he's a little animated? A little excited. <laughs> For a guy wow. who's not known as good in space time, he is covering these tight ends, whether it's the great Antonio Gates or Vernon Davis and now John Carlson very yeah, tightly. No lack of confidence on his part and no lack of enthusiasm. Boy, is he an animated guy. Seahawks have not picked up a third down all day. They are 0 for 10 on third down. What a defensive performance. Ryan will punt again. 
from the Seattle 28 yard line. Nick Miller will backpedal. He's coming back though. Catch made on the five. Gets a block 10. Gets wide. Cuts inside. Got hit hard and thrown down. They would be right. Hands off Michael Bush up the middle and did not get much. Maybe a yard as he got hit in the middle of that defensive front. Colin Cole is on the tackle for the Seahawks. So three minutes and 20 seconds, now 3.15 to play in the game, or in the third quarter, I say third quarter, long way to go. But the Raiders' defense, Tom, really playing well. Really playing well, and, and uh, unfortunately for that miss by uh, Janikowski, uh, that would have put it, you know, made a two-score game. And 13, that odd point is looming there. One touchdown and two field goals the Raiders have. Campbell on a second down, got a play action to Bush. Pumps, now looks middle. Now one of the throws short to Reese. He does eventually, but it's off his thigh pad incomplete. He tried to get it into Reese a couple of times and did not feel comfortable with the spacing, and he did fire one off, but Reese was not preparing for it. Maybe he couldn't even see it when he finally threw Tom. It's tough to pick it up when he's among all those linemen. Yeah, and after we were talking, uh, Nambi, uh, I hate to keep bringing it up, but Nambi went back in the locker room again, so evidently there's something wrong with that with the cast that they put on his, on his hand. The yeah, Raiders do have a bye week coming up. They're going to play Kansas City next week in a huge game. Then they're off the following week. They get their bye right at midseason. Lone back is Michael Bush. who's handling the series for McFadden. Three-step drop. Campbell throws slant too low and deflected and caught out of the air. It is caught by the Raiders and Michael Bush. He's to midfield. He breaks a tackle 30. Looking like Franco Harris. He's all the way down to the Seattle 29-yard line. <laughs> Incredible. The ball was tipped by Darius Hayward Bay. I think it was deflected then by Jacoby Ford. Not Frenchy Fuqua. And eventually caught out of the air by Michael Bush for a 55-yard gain. Well, you talk about th when things are going right, good things happen to you. This was a bizarre play. I mean, cause here you go. You got three guys touching the ball. There goes up in the air. You worry that that doesn't get intercepted. And then here it comes, and all of a sudden, here's Michael Bush running down the sideline. And it was it clearly deflected by Ford, which kept that alive. That was a volleyball set up there. Now McFadden is in. Bush needs a playoff. It's a dive flip, and McFadden will get the edge. 20, 15, 10, rolls down to the Seattle 10-yard line. The dive flip there as they fake the dive to Marcel Reese. They flip it to McFadden. Nice downfield block by wide receiver Nick Miller. And the Raiders here late in the third quarter after a 20-yarder to McFadden, after a 55-yarder to Bush, have a first down and goal on the Seahawk 10-yard line. And the fake to, to Reese, you had to, because of Reese's effectiveness, they have to respect that. And that was part, partially the key for McFadden. See if the Raiders can get in now. They're 0 for 2 inside the Seahawk red zone. First and goal, 10-yard line. Handoff, McFadden cuts back left, big hole, 5. He'll bang down to the Seahawk 4-yard line. Darren McFadden is over 100 yards again today. 19 carries for 107 yards. He had 165, the most he's ever had in his career last week in Denver. Had three rushing touchdowns, a fourth and a 19-yard screen. Darren McFadden may be the most improved player in the National Football League. He is having a brilliant third year. Second and goal, Raiders. They break the huddle with 40 on the uh, quarter clock, 10 on the play clock. Campbell under center. McFadden alone back. They'll give it to him up the gut. Campbell, the flag comes down where Jason was standing, thrown by Hockley. The Raiders held. That'll be a hold on the Raiders. Kid. Holding. Offense number 76. 10 yard penalty. Repeat second down. It's on left guard Robert Gallery. Now McFadden had taken it to around the three yard line, would have been third and goal from there. Now the Raiders get second down over again. And we'll be back on the 15-yard line. So second and goal from the 15. McFadden a little slow in getting up. And I'm, I'm not sure what the what's going on right now. But there, Lancer Walker was signaling for somebody to come in. And uh, I thought it was because McFadden was gone and slow getting up. Raiders do not. They got to call a timeout. Did they ever get the play into Campbell? They never got a play into him. And the play clock was down to 14. They waited too long. To, they were trying to substitute. They waited too long. To, to, and, and all of a sudden, you know, that clock goes off with 15 yeah. seconds. Of it goes off. I mean, that, the, the headgear. Yeah, the communication from Hugh Jackson, yeah. the OC on the sideline, when the play clock gets to 15, his ability to, to communicate with the quarterback directly into his speaker helmet 
is terminated. So once it gets down to 14, the quarterback has no play, and they're just so used to you can't hand. I guess you could, but they're just at that time it's so difficult to do it. And if you don't get the play in quickly enough time, you got to burn a timeout. Well, also with 15 seconds left, you don't have time uh, if you yeah. even think of a play and get it in and yeah. get up the line of scrimmage. You don't. You can't call the play, get up there and snap it in time, especially when it's a play of this importance here. Again, a field goal would give the Raiders a 16-point lead, which would be two full scores. Seattle could tie with a pair of touchdowns and follow each with two-point conversions. But a touchdown here by the Raiders opens it up to a three-score lead and approaching the fourth quarter. That is huge. Second and goal, 15-yard line, slot left, Campbell straight drop, McFadden left flat, nice catch on Hawthorne. Hawthorne cannot bring him down. McFadden will slug down to the three-yard line. And then he gets pushed out of bounds. They're going to keep the clock rolling, which will expire the quarter. What a run there by McFadden after the catch. Just a flat pass on the left side, Tom. He runs by Hawthorne, the linebacker, and then runs over two or three guys. What a play. Third and goal four. Campbell, gun, looks right, throws the ball. Why did Johnny Lee Higgins? I don't know if he thought Johnny was going to flatten that route out more, but that was thrown nowhere near where Johnny was. Incomplete. The Raiders bring in Janikowski to try for that 16-point lead. That play didn't have a chance. Uh, there was, you know, Johnny Lee wasn't even open on, on that one. I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking that that was designed for the back end of the yeah. end zone, and the Seahawks didn't bite on anything up front. He just, they're, 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 he just threw it away. All right, Jana, who missed a moment ago from uh, 45, will try a 22 yarder, essentially an extra point. Left hash mark, and this one he drives through, his third field goal of the day. Janikowski good from 31 36, and now 22 after missing from 45. And the Raiders do have a 16 point lead. If the Raiders win this game, they're going to get to 4 and 4, and that's going to set it up for a uh, showdown next week. Here's the kickoff by Janikowski to the back end of the uh, end zone for a touchback. What a blast there by Janikowski. Janikowski to the north end zone, hit it right off the uh, the baseline, the back line of the end zone. And Bush caught a 55 yard. That was actually Bush's who was deflected. Deep one to Dion Butler just off his fingertips down the right sideline. Jeremy Ware on the coverage, stride for stride the whole way. Ware's playing well. Nandi Asamoah came in for one series with that left hand wrapped. He's back in there now, but Jeremy Ware stays in. When the Raiders uh, play a nickel defense with Stanford route jumping inside, and Ware, the seventh round draft pick coach out of Michigan State, who yep. played so well in August, is playing very well today. They're going at him. They're going to go after him. He's going to be challenged, and it's not over yet. They got a whole quarter to go, so buckle up, young man. He's playing press coverage on Mike Williams, who has not caught a ball today. Second and ten. Hasselbeck throws. Right of the way by Rolando McClain. What coverage that was on Justin Forsett. The middle linebacker had the back in the flat. And he just got right there and slapped the ball away with a reaching right hand. Perfectly Perfect. done. Yeah. Perfect coverage. Uh, technique, everything was. He turned and ran with him. And uh, reached at uh, the last minute, reached out and knocked the ball down. Uh, you can't do it any better than that. That ball may have been deflected as well out of Hasselbeck's hand by Trevor Scott, possibly. Hard to see in there. Again, Seattle is not converted on third down today. They are 0 for 10. They need 10 on this third down. Hasselbeck, low center snap. Time throws down the middle. It's intercepted by Mike by Michael Huff. 30, breaks a tackle, spins off another, and now dropped on the Seattle 29-yard line. It's going to come back though. They're going to call the. Uh, they're going to call somebody for interference or illegal chuck. Uh, I see the, the uh, center field judge motioning to the referee right now. Hasselbeck badly overthrew Stokely. 
Stanford route. Seattle keeps the ball. First down. Well, it had to be that he bumped him off his route. He bumped Brandon Stokely, the slot guy, because Hasselbeck threw that ball to nobody. He just threw it right to Michael Huff. So a huge. That'll be their first third down converter. Yeah, That's my penalty. My penalty, yeah. It's not done that way, so they still have not converted on no, third down. Still not have. First and ten, Seattle on the 25-yard line. Ganther, the fullback, and an offset out of the right ahead of Justin Forsett. Ben Obamano goes in motion. Watch by route. They blitz Stevie Brown. A throw out left and a stop route. Nice coverage by Nandi. All over Golden Tate. Bad hand at all. Nandi with blanket coverage there on Golden Tate. And maybe going after Nandi a little bit now, sensing that he's been hurt and out and playing with a wrap on that left hand. And Nandi was all over the rookie. Second and ten. Even now he got in there with a left hand right away on his press coverage. He opened up to the outside. He had to jab him with the left hand, but he got it in there. Now he now jumps in the slot on Obamanu. Here's Hasselback under pressure. They'll throw him down. Tommy Kelly, Cameron Wembley all meet. It will be a gain of four. Or was it a sack? A one-yard loss. It is a sack. The Raiders' fourth sack of the day. He oh. lost a yard, third down at 11 coming up. Yeah, hard to tell who got the sack because it looked like a gang uh, of guys that, that were in there. But there was good penetration. He tried to run up the middle, but he was just surrounded by about three black jerseys. And Tommy Kelly and Cameron Wembley will share that sack. They both arrived at the same time. Third down at 11 for Seattle, 0 for 10 on third down. Four receivers, three left. Carlson goes right. Here's a throw and a catch by Forsett. And Rolando McClain makes the tackle on him well shy of the first down. Oh, no. Here we go again. Flag came Another in. Flag. Did he grab his face mask on the tackle? I don't know, but this guy was about 40 yards away when he threw the flag. But well, came from uh, the Center back field. judge. Center field good. It's against the Raiders. What was the flag for? Well, it came from deep center field. Yeah. John Carey, the back judge, threw it, on I believe. the tackle, the defender grabbed the back of the runner's helmet. That's a personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. 15-yard penalty. Wow. First down. So that's the opposite of a face mask. He grabbed him in the back inside of the helmet on Rolando McClain. I could tell when he grabbed and he tackled him that he, he twisted his head in some regard. He did. He grabbed the back of the helmet and pulled it down. Yeah. yeah. Crowd not happy. This is huge now. Two Raider defensive penalties prolonging this drive. The illegal chuck on Stanford route, and now the illegal helmet tackle by Rolando McClain. The Raiders nine penalties today, 74 on the year, lead the league. First and 10, Seattle on their own 43-yard line. Hasselbeck play action to Lynch, going to throw a deep ball to the right sideline for Butler. Ball deflected and then intercepted out of the air by Tyvon Branch. Incredibly, he runs out on the 30-yard line. What a play that was. Dion Butler almost caught his deflected ball. As he was falling to the ground, he tipped the ball up in the air, could not corral it. It fell down, and he tipped it up again as he hit the ground. Never touched down. The ball popped up in the air, and Tyvon Branch came over and intercepted it. If the interception stands, the Raiders have the ball on their 31 with 13.36 to play, up 16 to nothing. Our broadcast of the NFL today brought to you by McDonald's. Smooth out your day with the McCafe Real Fruit Smoothies. Try the strawberry, banana, or wild berry. Only $2.29 for the small size. Prices and participation will vary. That'll be the first turnover of the game if the Raiders get it, Tom. Coming into the game today, the Raiders are plus one. First time they've been plus in the turnover category this deep in the year in many years. Yeah. Here's yeah. Ed Hockley now. See what he says. Seattle challenged the ruling on the field. There'll be interception. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. The receiver had his hands under the ball. The ball bounced up in the air and was intercepted. It was therefore the Raiders' ball. First down. Seattle is charged with a timeout. The interception. For Tyvon Branch, great coverage there by Stanford Rod. It was Route who deflected the ball initially. I thought it was live. It was Butler, but it was Route who tipped yeah. the ball 
And then Butler time, a tremendous body control, went way out away from his body. A good couple of body lengths to try to make the catch. As it hit the ground, it popped up, but it never, the ball never touched the ground. Uh, had he been able to hold on to that ball and not let it uh, slip away, that would have been a completion. First and ten Raiders on the first takeaway of the game. McFadden in I formation. They're going to play action. Campbell will throw. He throws out left, and it is caught by Haywood Bay. He's gone. It's going to be a touchdown. Ten, five, touchdown, Raiders. Darius Hayward Bay on a 69-yard catch and run. The safety, Earl Thomas, came over. Could not get there in time, and DHB spun out of it and runs it in for a Raider touchdown. And a great throw, too. A great throw, right? Uh, it was right on the line. That ball had to be thrown low and, and get there in a hurry because there was a safety coming over, Greg. And, and if that ball had hung up a little higher, the safety would have got a piece of it. That was, that was a perfectly thrown ball. And they went at Nate Ness on a double move, rocked him along the sideline before the safety could come over, and Thomas in the cover, too. There was excellent. Expertly delivered by Jason Campbell and DHP after that was gone. Janikowski with the point after. And the Oakland Raiders have opened it up now. The Raiders with a 23 to nothing lead. The question was, after last Sunday's 59-point demolition in Denver, do the Raiders follow it up? Took them a little while to get going offensively, but now they are exploding. 469 yards of offense and a 23-0 lead. Kickoff by Janikowski taken by Leon Washington. 10, 15, 20, 25. Through it, 40. Midfield run down finally by Stevie Brown on the Raider 49-yard line. Leon Washington so dangerous. Took that one straight up the middle there and pops it for a long return. We get Seattle right back into the game here again. There, within three scores. Yeah, well, he's such a dangerous weapon. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised if John, I don't know if Janikowski did that on purpose, but because he's been kicking it out of the end zone, going in that direction. Leon Washington with that kickoff return there. Gives the ball to Seattle. They're going to say right at midfield. First and ten. Hasselback hands off the four set off the left side. And he's wrapped up by Desmond Bryant. A five-yard pickup for Justin for set the former Cal Bear. Today's broadcast of the National Football League is brought to you by Wrangler, five-star premium denim jeans for long-lasting comfort. The right choice is Wrangler. Raiders have not won back-to-back games since the final two games of 2008. They beat the Texans here and won in Tampa to knock John Gruden and Bruce Allen out of the playoffs and ultimately out of their jobs. Handoff off the left side is for set. They run him twice in a row, curiously. Desmond Bryant on the tackle. And now there is a Seahawk down to injury. It is the offensive lineman here. It is up to the spot of the head linesman here. They had to get across the 40. They're right on the 40. They got their first. They got it. First. First third down conversion of the day after 11 previous failures. The Seahawks finally convert here. But that two pointer in the NFL, it looms there. And they could score three times. And that would be 24. So the Raiders have got to play defense here. Hassel back, back, steps up, hit, and sack. Fumbled the ball. But the Seahawks do recover it. Stacey Andrews, the right guard, got on it as Lamar Houston with the strip sack from behind. And then Andrews, the right guard, the longtime Bengal, and last year an Eagle, dove on the ball. Well, Lamar Houston's playing well. That's the Raiders' fifth sack of the game on Matt Hasselbeck. He was sacked five times in winning last Sunday against Arizona. The Seattle team has offensive line problems, not just injury. But they have had poor play in some spots. Second out of 11, Seattle on the Raider 41-yard line. Hasselbeck, handoff for Seth, going to cut back right. Mike Mitchell slams him down. He is having a big game. Rolando McLean hit him and wrapped him, and Mike Mitchell came over with the big thud hit. Raider defense coach really coming together, and that is exciting. They're fired up, Greg. I mean, they're, they're fired up. They're playing with a lot of excitement, enthusiasm, energy, and they're fresh because they haven't been on the field that much with a lot of three and outs. And they're not playing with Chris Johnson today. Nandi Asimov clearly playing with a, an injured left hand. Well, they're getting it done. Pitching a shutout. Third down and ten. Hasselbeck 
He's going to throw one down the left sideline on Namdi. Great coverage there. Over the shoulder catch by Golden Tate, but he was out of bounds. Namdi left him no room to go to, and Namdi is slow to get up. As he uh, went to the ground, he rolled over, now and now he's hurt his right leg. Oh, boy. He had a left-hand problem, and as he went to the ground, he rolled over, and he is still down. Namdi Asamoah is down in a lot of pain. A lot of pain. It's either the very bottom of the ankle or his foot. Also in the area of the Achilles tendon, he is in the excruciating pain that is difficult to watch. Writhing in pain from side to side. Great coverage outside the numbers, stride for stride with Golden Tate. Over the shoulder ball, Tate caught it. Got one foot down the left, not the right. As Nandi landed, he stepped on something. So maybe he stepped he, on Tate. Maybe just rolled his ankle. Thanks for Nandi Asamoa is the guy they all look to for guidance. So that's a tough sight. They're going to have to bring him all the way across the field here. No cart came out. He's unable to put any weight at all on his right foot, right leg. But we'll get your report from the Raider locker room the moment we find out. It's fourth down, scoreboard. And what has happened to Nandi. So it is fourth down and ten now. Is this savage game these men play after one of their brothers get gets carried off the field like this they blow the whistle and commence play again and here they go fourth down big play michael huff will play at cornerback and they'll bring into play deep safety stevie brown they're going to blitz him and tyvon branch they're all coming up zero coverage nobody behind hasselback throws and it is caught by mike williams over michael huff look at that the raiders went zero coverage meaning no safeties deep at all they blitz the two deep safeties and left Huff a safety one-on-one -on -one with Mike Williams. And he beat him over the top with a nice ball thrown, a 27-yard gain. First down Seattle on the Raider 13-yard line. Yeah, you got to give the Seahawks credit because they've thrown, they throw how many ups have they thrown? How many? A lot. They, they've thrown at least a half a dozen or more and, and hoping to get, either get the completions or a, or a P.I. because the Raiders are pretty famous for getting past interference calls. And they may not be done throwing them with Chris Johnson out and now Nandi out. They think they can get behind the Raider corners. Let's see. Here's Hasselbeck back. He's going to get hit and sacked by Matt Shaughnessy. Shaughnessy hit him. Uh, Hasselbeck for a moment looked like he was going to try to still throw it away and then wisely he took the sack as Shaughnessy spun him down. The Raiders have a half dozen quarterback sacks today on Matt Hasselbeck. Yeah, and he got hit from the blind side too because it's lucky. he's lucky that ball didn't come flying out. Clock rolling now. Raiders up 23 to nothing. Under 10 minutes to play. Nine minutes and 49 seconds to go in this one. Second and 17 on the sack. The Seahawks are back out to the 20-yard line of the Raiders. Jeremy Ware is playing at left cornerback. Michael Huff is playing right cornerback. They empty the backfield. Forsett goes out. Watched by the middle backer, McLean. Raiders a four-man pressure. A throw for Forsett. He slipped on the stop route. Incomplete. He would have had it. On the stop route of the coverage of McLean, he would have had the ball. And a first and goal on the Raider four-yard line, but he slipped as the ball was arriving, and it's incomplete. Third down and 17 coming up for the Seahawks on the Raider 20. Tyler Columbus, by the way, is back into play at left tackle for the Seahawks. This has been a, a battle of attrition all day. Seahawks had nine players show up on their injury report on Wednesday, and they've had some uh, severe Injuries and deactivations today in their secondary. They're down 17. Golden Tate comes in motion. He's tight right. Watched by Ware. Slot left. There's a four-man pressure. And another Raider sack. Tommy Kelly, Richard Seymour, Cameron Wembley, Trevor Scott. They all got in. The first hit was Kelly's. And I think Seymour will get the sack ultimately. Seven quarterback sacks by the Raiders today. Yeah, and here's a fourth down. They're not going to try. I mean, it's fourth and forever. And they're not going to try this. They're going to try to get, at least get three points and not and not be blanked at this stage. It'll be the field goal by Olindo Mara, who was missed twice today. Came in having made 30 in a row. He's been no good from 51, even missed from 29. This is a shorter one from 47 yards away. Left hash mark. Ryan has it down. Mara, not a real good blast, but he got it high enough, and it is good. Just over the crossbar. Olindo well, Mare will get the Seahawks some points. Olindo well, Mare, longtime Miami Dolphin, with an onside kick. And Stevie Brown catches it out of the air, runs it back, breaks a tackle, he's going to score! 
10, 5, touchdown. Did he go down? This is subject to review now. He's in the end zone saying he scored. Are they going to mark him down? I think they're going to say that when he came back after getting the ball in the air, that it might, his, his knee might have hit. The ball was recovered by the Raiders. The runner was ruled down by contact. It was also an offside by the kicking team. That five-yard penalty will be enforced from where the ball was recovered. Raiders ball, first down. Now, did they whistle it dead? Remember, Hockley was involved in the fumble last year with San Diego and Denver, and he inadvertently whistled the play dead. That should not have been, and they changed the rule on the quarterback. So they were offsides on the kick, but that's not the point. Was Stevie Brown ever touched to the ground? He went up in the air, caught the ball. Did he ever go down? Yeah, his right knee hit the ground. Now, it depends on whether a defender touched him or not. I mean, one of the opposite sides. His right, he, he bounced off the ground with his right knee, but and the Raiders aren't going to challenge it. There was a glancing blow from a Seahawk special teams player, so they'll not challenge that. McFadden off the right side will pick up a couple of yards. The Raiders last week in Denver generated 508 yards of offense. They rushed for 328, third most in franchise history rushing. They have 471 yards of offense today. So they have a chance to have back-to-back 500-yard offensive performances. Second and eight Raiders on the Seattle 34-yard line. Raiders up 23-3. to High formation behind Jason Campbell. Marcel Reese ahead of Darren McFadden. Campbell using every second of that clock. Snaps at five. And off to McFadden. Tackled from the backside. After a short game of only a couple of yards, that'll bring up third down. Raiders trying to work the clock here. There was Junior Siavia who made the tackle, the former Kansas City Chief. For the Raiders, we'll see next Sunday. And that is looming as a big, big game. KC won today. They are shocking 5-2. and two. Probably the biggest surprise of the year, Tom, is the Chiefs are 5-2. and two. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're playing good solid ba- uh, ball. They're playing good good defense. Uh, special teams are good, and their running game is good. They're down at 5. They played without their rookie, Dexter McCluster, today. McCluster today, out with an injury. They still have Jamal Charles and Thomas Jones. Jason Campbell going to loop one out left for Hayward Bay. Well covered, no flag. They went at the coverage there of Kennard Cox. It was a safety coming over and flying at corner with all the injuries. Kennard Cox, a former Buffalo Bill draft pick. In a couple of years, he played for Jack Del Rio and Jacksonville, mainly on special teams. In fairness, Seattle has had huge injuries in their secondary today. Without Kelly Jennings, their starting right corner, missing again with a hamstring injury, and also Walter Thurman, who played so well last week in their win over Arizona, the round four pick out of Oregon, unable to play due to a uh, concussion. Field goal by Janikowski here from 49 yards away. Line drive, plenty of distance, and it is good. Jano makes another, and the Raiders have a 26-3 lead. The Raiders are averaging 25 and a half points a game, which is the fifth most in the NFL. Now, when you get 59 in one week, yeah, that, that, they'll that skew the average. But they got 26 again today. Now, they're scoring like they have not scored since the 2002 year. Leckler, by the way, five punts today for a 54 and a half yard average and a, a long of 60. And Jan O with another touchback. That's a live ball. Leon Washington yeah. has to pick it up. It's right to the back edge of the end zone. He has to pick it up and kneel down on it. There's Trevor Scott. He jumped off sides. Hand off to Leon Washington. Big run, 30, 35, 40. Washington uh, gashed the Raiders there straight up the middle. Trevor Scott, the Raiders' defensive end, jumped off sides. Defense, number 91. The penalty is declined. The play results in a first down. They'll take the 21-yard gashing by Leon Washington, the former New York Jet. Seattle trying to snap it as quickly as possible we're not going to huddle anymore today 705 to play Raiders up 26 3 Hasselbeck back throws high deflected by Michael Huff almost intercepted this is Huff's uh, varied skills he's playing as a corner now yeah. against Mike Williams and that's something he did at the University of Texas he played everywhere including slot corner corner both safeties plays all over the field yeah well he certainly has the speed to play corner and, and uh, they got they you know he's strong enough he's They've got him on, uh, on Mike Williams, you know, the big guy. Playing for Nambi, his best friend on the team. Second and ten, handoff. Leon Washington got pulled from behind by Trevor Scott. 
from the jersey up high. They have not called a penalty on that. And Desmond Bryant is playing well here late in the game. Young lineman from Harvard finished off Leon Washington. Clock rolling now. Under seven minutes to play. Seattle back at it with Hasselbeck. Of course, his dad, Don, played for the Raiders in the top Super Bowl team in 83. Seymour with a sack. Another half a sack for Seymour. Desmond Bryant will pick up half of that. The Raiders with eight quarterback sacks today. What a performance by this defense. Boy, this defensive guys love this. They love to be able to tee off. When a team knows they know they're going to pass those defensive linemen, they don't worry too much about the run. They just take off, put their ears back, and go. First two snaps of the game, they had back-to-back -back sacks. Ninth punt of the day for John Ryan. Low snap by Gresham. Ryan, not a great punt, end over end. Bounces on the 30, takes a Raider roll to the 32, 33, 34. Nobody downing it for Seattle. It's rolling the wrong way, guys. They finally get in there and down it. That is Dexter Davis. It was a great rush end, around seven draft pick out of Arizona State at the uh, Sun Devils defense, but they were a little tardy getting down to getting that ball that was rolling back towards their end line. Only a 28-yard punt by John Ryan. So all of a sudden, Tom, we have a huge football game next Sunday. Oh, Kind of looking at it. Absolutely. The Raiders have held up their end of the bargain and recovering after what happened at Candlestick a couple of weeks ago to win two in a row, it looks like. They'll get to 4-4 four and four and set it up. Kansas City would still leave with the AFC West lead, but the Raiders, uh, a win next week would be huge. Lofa Tatupu in on the tackle as they run up Michael Bush off the left side. Chiefs won today. Now they're five and two. They began the year with three straight wins, then lost two, but now they have rebounded to win two in a row. They were very strong at home last week, beating Jacksonville, and today they had to slug it out with Buffalo, but they beat them in overtime late, 13 to 10. Matt Castle, the Kansas City quarterback, has not played great football this year, but he is uh, winning the way he did in New England a couple of years ago when they went 11-5. Second down and nine, Raiders on their 35. Offset eye behind Campbell. Reese to the right of Bush, moves up a half a yard. They're going to give it a Bush. Flag comes down. A pre-snap penalty. That's to lay a game on the Raiders. They get it off in time. Full start. No, full Offense start. number 76. Five-yard penalty. It's on gallery. Down. Raiders 10 penalties today for yeah. 92 yards. That's still one part of the game that they've got to they've got to fix. Uh, they, they they consistently are having way too many penalties. As you said, number one penalized team in the National Football League. And that's just not good. That's not good because in the long run, that's going to kill you. You guys won Super Bowls leading the way, Tom. I know that. <laughs> but I had to say. It. You're good enough to overcome it. That's right. That's what you tell the team. They That's say, right. yeah, we're still winning. There's a handoff to Michael Bush. And uh, tackled by Lawyer Malloy. The ones you don't like are the ones on offense. You take well, a big hit over the middle on defense, sometimes you live with that. But the, all the pre-snap stuff on offense you don't want. Yeah, those are the little nitpicking ones that are annoying because all of a sudden, you know, you're first and 15 instead of first and 10. You know, I mean, those... They're they're just those are disciplined ones. The other ones are just aggressiveness. Third and nine. Raiders have uh, had Jared Valdez start at left tackle today. He's played the entire game. No injuries on this offensive line. Now they're going to go unbalanced, Tom. Something the Raiders have done a lot. Valdez moves over to the right side. Langston Walker is outside, but Valdez in between the guard and the tackle over there. They're going to run that way to Michael Bush. Big hole. Bush to midfield, pushed to the Seattle 40 down the sideline, lost his balance, and it just fell down on their 35. They ran behind the tonnage on the right side. Valdir goes 315, came over in between Carlisle and Walker. Walker goes 360, and that puts the Raiders over 500 yards of total offense today. Oh, Lance, Lance, you've lost that six pounds. <laughs> Is he 366? Well, that's, I haven't listed at 366, so he's lost. You, you just gave him the... Uh... I think he had a light breakfast today. Yeah. Had the granola. That unbalanced element, Tom, it's... Something the Raiders have been doing yeah. a lot they this like year. It. They like it. And there's an eye formation. Campbell gives it to Marcel Reese, the fullback. Big hole right up the middle. 20, 10, 5. He bangs down to the four-yard line. Back-to-back -back huge runs. Michael Bush for 30. Marcel Reese for 31. And Greg, that's got to do it. That's got to put them over 500 oh, yards again. 
Way over 500 yards. Yeah, they were at 510 before. Now they're at 541. Holy. So back-to-back wow. games. The Raiders go for 508 last week and now 541 this week. And they're just trying to run out the clock. They may run the clock out right in the end zone. 250 to play. Raiders up 26 to 3. I think the Raider Nation is starting to realize that their team is pretty good this year. Brandon Myers goes in motion left. They give it a push off the left side. Gets wide. Ankle tackled there by Trufant and dropped on the four-yard line. And it'll take us to the two-minute warning coming up. Getting back to the uh, unbalanced, the Raiders bring a tackle and put them next to a tackle on each side. Yeah. Most teams run power behind that time, but the Raiders also run outside zone behind the unbalanced. Well, and they also run back to the the, the opposite of the unbalanced. They also yeah. run back to the short side sometimes, as they did last week in Denver. And then were quite successful with it. And they also threw a pass uh, to the to the weak side. Off of the one that they hit... Uh, McFadden with a little swing pass and uh, he took it down the side. All right, two minute warning has uh, arrived. Those I formation behind Campbell. They will give it to Michael Bush and he will take it in the end zone for a touchdown. Off the left side, right behind Marcel Reese. Michael Bush is in. And with the extra point coming, the Raiders lead 32 to 3. Tremendous second half performance by the Raiders today. This was a, a 10 nothing game at halftime. There was 3 nothing until midway through the second quarter. The Raiders have just exploded offensively. Colin Cole walking step by step, very measuredly, all the way to their sideline finally. And now Janikowski will try the point after. By the way, San Diego won today at home over Tennessee, 33-25. Chargers go to 3-5. and five. Denver lost in London to the Niners. They're 2-6. and six. Jano with the point after is good. Marcel Reese, our Constant Contact MVP, simplifying social media for small businesses. ConstantContact.com slash social media. Compass Media Network will donate $100 to Pop Warner. Little scholars for every MVP named this year. That's quite a talent to have at fullback. Oh, boy. I guess. Uh, I mean, you just... Uh... You know, and no signs. Oh, here we go with a kickoff. I'm sorry. Charlie. Well, it's, it's a moot point. It's going to be a touchback. Time. Moot oh, point. Yeah. <laughs> Another Janikowski touchback. I should have done better. Home. He's a good guy, too. Big family. Yep. They've got two sets of twins in his family. Oh, you're How kidding. would that be? Oh. I know you got twins in yours. I got yeah. twins in mine. Would you want a second set of twins? Oh, I love my twins. <laughs> that's but, enough. Uh, I think that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> that's enough. Little handoff off the left side. They give it to uh, Leon Washington for a short game. Now, the clock will roll out here. The Raiders will go to 4-4. Four and four. So many firsts for this team. The Raiders will be 4-4 four and four for the first time at midway point of the year since the 0-2 year when they won their first four, then lost four, then won 7-8 of eight all the way to the Super Bowl. That was in 2002. And the Raiders will win back-to-back -back games for the first time since the final two of 08. Charlie yeah. Whitehurst, by the way, is in handing off here at quarterback for yeah. Seattle. They have pulled Matt Hassel back out. Charlie Whitehurst. Finally playing in an NFL game. He's not attempted a pass in a game as of yet. Back up in San Diego to Rivers for four years, played in two games, but never threw the ball. Yeah, they're not interested in doing anything at this point, and then that's smart on their part because all, all that can happen is, is uh, get somebody hurt, and they have enough guys hurt already, so they'll run one more play, and then the, the game will be over. He's in the shotgun here. He's never thrown one in the NFL all the time. Now he's going to toss it out to Leon Washington, led by Locklear on a toss sweep. He's hit by Tyvon Branch, and that'll be the final tackle. The uh, final seconds will tick off here. The Raiders, 33-3 over the Seattle Seahawks. They follow up a 59-14 demolition in Denver with a 33-3 solid slaughtering of Seattle time. Are the Raiders of 2010 for real here? They're 4-4. Four and four. Well, I'll tell you one thing they're doing. They're, they're, they're growing up a little bit. They're, you know, such a young team. They're growing up and they're finding out what it, what it, how what it takes to win.